Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. I am a trainer, activating the insect race domination system. Chapter 81. Lu Chen was in his previous life. I have seen quite a few female celebrities who are either original or modified, each with their own merits and different temperaments. But if you compare it with the woman in front of you. No, it is not of the same magnitude at all, and there is no qualification for comparison. She was wearing a smoky blue fringed long skirt that reached to her knees. The surface was embellished with moiré patterns, revealing half of her white and slender calves, with a pair of long boots underneath. What caught Lu Chen's attention the most was the white hair on the woman's head, which was hanging down like a snowfall and tied up with a green silk hairband. Under a few clusters of bangs in front of his forehead, there is a black eye patch with a silver moon pattern, covering his eyes. After a moment of slight dazzle, Lu Chen woke up under Hong Shuang's deliberate interference. He quickly saluted seriously and said, Master, Chu Yuanlong and Ma Jingyang, who were waiting to see the joke, were a little surprised to see Lu Chen come to his senses so quickly. After all, when they first met their master, they all showed a lot of embarrassment. No need to be restrained. Lu Chen suddenly noticed that the woman sitting on the stone bench suddenly paused before she finished speaking. Facing himself, he raised his head slightly. The eyes behind the black eye patch seemed to be staring. The atmosphere instantly cooled down. Not to mention that Lu Chen didn't dare to move, even Ma Jingyang was stiff and didn't know what was going on. Groan, a few rays of moonlight sword light suddenly flickered, and before anyone could react, they suddenly disappeared again, as if they had never appeared. But Lu Chen's hair stood on end. Because the sword light just now was rowing towards him. In a daze, he suddenly saw a few black hairs falling from his sight, which were on his head. The hem of the clothes, which had been pulled up, had several protruding corners, which were also cut off and slowly fell to the ground. Question mark question mark question mark. Lu Chen felt increasingly confused. He suddenly remembered that before entering Wenxin Pavilion, Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong carefully arranged their clothes, appearance, and hair. Strive for symmetry and smoothness. He didn't understand it at the time and asked why. Chu Yuanlong replied, It's too late to explain. And let him organize it well, otherwise there will be big problems after meeting the master. Is this situation what Chu Yuanlong said before? It's a bit exaggerated. His neck turned stiffly to the side. I saw Chu Yuanlong not squinting, not looking at himself, but the corners of his mouth twitched slightly, obviously suppressing a smile. This is definitely revenge, right? When he tested his talent previously, he and Ma Lao were embarrassed. Not long after, it was your turn. Is this the revenge of the big guys? I understand. Lu Chen blinked and continued to look at his master. He understood that the woman in front of him definitely had extreme obsessive compulsive disorder. If you see bulges in flat places, asymmetries, or incongruities, you will definitely use a sword to correct them. Fortunately, I have one head, not three. Otherwise, two of them will definitely be killed. At this time, the expression on Master's face finally relaxed a little, and he continued, There is no need to be formal, just be normal, otherwise I will not feel comfortable. If it's too much, I won't talk about it. I'm going to play Mahjong. She was silent for a few breaths. Looking at Lu Chen, he suddenly asked, Ma Jingyang has already told me about your talent. Three colors and one gold, even in my time, no one had it. The most powerful person only has two colors and two golds. At this point, he suddenly shook his head, as if unwilling to mention the past history. He turned to look formal and said, This level of talent is rare in the world, and even beyond your knowledge. Once word spreads, the whole of Great Shaw will be shaken, and the top eight families will throw olive branches to you. I'm telling you this, I just hope you make your own choices. Are you sure you want me to be your master? Finished speaking. She fell silent. The small courtyard also became quiet. Chu Yuanlong and Ma Jingyang were both a little nervous, looking at Lu Chen's expression from the corner of their eyes. Disciple is willing. Lu Chen expressed his attitude without hesitation. In fact, to be honest, there is no good choice at all. No matter how strong the eight major families are, and no matter how many resources and power they possess, what do they have to do with him? He felt warmth in Chu Yuanlong's body. In Ma Jingyang, he felt the care of his elders. He even felt that kind of tolerance from Li Baogang, whom he had met only once. 
After all, Lu Chen must have left a lot of loopholes in the battle in the valley. If we look into it carefully, many things are unclear. But Mr. Li Baogang didn't ask anything. Because he, like Chu Yuanlong and Ma Jingyang, belongs to the same lineage. And Lu Chen was the person recommended by Chu Yuanlong. Good, my lineage's name is, well, the name doesn't matter. All you need to know is that our philosophy is eight words, understand your thoughts and kill to stop killing. After confirming that Lu Chen would join, there was a hint of warmth in her cold voice. After saying a few words briefly, he stood up hurriedly and said, the master's true body is no longer in this world now. In addition, the list of geniuses is coming soon, and you will soon enter the genius camp. Well, the matter of preaching and teaching will be discussed after you complete the list of geniuses. By the way, this is for you. After hastily throwing something out, she quickly said, they keep urging me, so I'll go first. Ma Jingyang, Chu Yuanlong, you too, take good care of Lu Chen. After saying that, he left the yard and walked outside as fast as he could. Lu Chen was stunned. Before he could react, the master left and came back. He came to Ma Jingyang and said, Xiao Ma, give me the Yuan core you are carrying. I lost a lot playing cards. This clone is not enough. Ma Jingyang was not surprised at all and handed over the things quickly. Obviously, this is not the first time this has happened. After their master left completely, the three of them were speechless. After looking at each other, they prepared to leave. Not long after, we crossed the stone bridge and came to the field ridge again. Lu Chen finally couldn't hold back his curiosity and asked, Master Ma, Uncle Chu, what is the name of our lineage? When he just said this, the master obviously hesitated to speak. And the look on his face seemed a little embarrassed. This is very strange. Ahem, Ma Jingyang coughed dryly, the name is just a code name, it doesn't really matter. Forget it, Xiaoqiu, you say it. Lu Chen was even more curious. He looked at Chu Yuanlong with eyes full of gossip. The latter's eyes dodged, hesitating several times, and finally said, Ba, Ba Tian will. Lu Chen, was such a second-rate name really the name of the man who had dominated the list of Great Sha's most powerful countries for 400 years, the master he had just recognized. This, so shameful, he had heard Chu Yuanlong say it before. Nowadays, there are many organizations within major martial arts schools, some of which have been passed down for hundreds of years, and some of which have just sprouted. They were all established by influential figures in history. In the beginning, those people were also students. Today, some have become giants, some have died young, and some have disappeared from the public. I never imagined that my master was also a middle-aged girl back then. After smiling, Lu Chen opened the pastry box in his hand, which the master had just thrown to him. The first thing that caught his eye was something that looked like amber. Crystal clear and exuding warmth. The thing sealed in amber seems to be a small crescent moon, which is very beautiful. This is the moon suppressing stone. Chu Yuanlong said with great envy, what is sealed here is the master's full sword. Xiao Chen, this thing is amazing, don't use it unless it is absolutely necessary. Lu Chen nodded, master is so generous. Does everyone have a share of this? Chu Yuanlong said nothing. Ma Jingyang snorted coldly, feeling that he was offended. Lu Chen realized clearly that he was being favored. He chuckled and looked at both sides of the box. On the left is a moon-shaped token. After Chu Yuanlong explained, Lu Chen realized that with this thing, he could enter an exit Wenxin Pavilion, and he could also obtain a certain degree of authority to access the resources of the Martial Arts Academy. And on the right side is a small golden sword. The sword body does not seem to be solid, but rather like a liquid metal structure, still shaking slightly. Heavenly Sword Heart After Ma Jingyang saw it, his heart trembled violently, his breathing became rapid, and he couldn't move his eyes away. Chu Yuanlong, who was next to him, was in a similar situation. He shook his head and said with a smile, Master, she is too partial, and she won't let anyone live. Ma Jingyang tried hard to look away. His eyes fell on Lu Chen, and he lost his temper completely. He sighed and said, Xiao Chen, you should have discovered that whether it is me, Xiao Chu, or senior brother Li Baogang, they are all sword cultivators. You might think that we all have talent for swordsmanship, but that's not the case. It depends on the sword heart in your hand. 200 years ago, 
the master, with one man and one sword, destroyed an area of outer sword territory. The most precious thing he obtained is the sword hard. The grade of this thing, from high to low, is divided into heaven and earth Shuangwang. As long as you merge, you will have an extra talent, swordsmanship. Speaking of which, Ma Jingyang swallowed. The expression on his face was a little distorted, and he continued, and after the fusion of your heaven level, sword hard, it is equivalent to having an additional S level swordsmanship talent. Before it was three colors and one gold. It won't take long, it will be three colors and two golds. Mine is Huang Jia's, sword heart, Ma Jingyang added. Me too, Chu Yuanlong also said. Lu Chen blinked. I don't know how to comfort the injured hearts of the two seniors. Whatever you say at this time is like adding fuel to the fire. Well, just get used to it. The three of them were silent. After leaving this special small world, they finally arrived outside. The surrounding bamboo forest is still like a fairyland. Walking on the stone steps, Chu Yuanlong looked serious and said, Xiao Chen, in two days, the Tianjiao camp will gather. Remember to go there on time. You are one of our own now. Our old guys from the body and club will fight for resources for you. I dare not say anything else, but we are all experts in fighting bravely and ruthlessly, and I promise not to let you suffer. Hear this. Mr. Ma Jingyang also showed a smile on his face, and said gently, when you are on the list of geniuses, I will call everyone in the meeting back, and we will celebrate your success. I will work hard and I will not let you down. After Lu Chen finished speaking, he said curiously, Uncle Chu, you said before that I am 10,000 times away from the last spot on the list of geniuses, but what about now? Chu Yuanlong did not hesitate and said loudly, Top 20. Is it just the first 20? Not even in the first tier. Seemingly understanding what Lu Chen was thinking, Chu Yuanlong continued, This year's prodigy list, both openly and secretly in the Great Shah, all forces have their descendants participating. The eight top aristocratic families, the martial arts association, the military, the hidden forces, and the powerful demon clan we have good friends with. Too many. Chu Yuanlong shook his head and said softly, Xiao Chen, when I say the top 20, I still mean you in two months' time. If you go by your current strength, I'm afraid you won't be able to make it into the top 100. This is not a knock on you. Your talent is indeed unparalleled in history. But the time to practice is too short. Not to mention the powerful ones from the eight major aristocratic families and the demon clan. It's just the local geniuses in our main base. From the time they were born, there are powerful ones who wash their marrow, change their blood, take medicinal baths, etc. Not to mention those guys. They started practicing martial arts and martial arts when they were young. Their proficiency cannot be surpassed. The gap in background is too big. Ma Jingyang couldn't listen anymore. After glaring at Chu Yuanlong, he encouraged with a smile, Xiao Chen, you will stay in the Tianjiao camp in the Jiangnan war zone for two more months. In terms of logistical resources, you don't have to worry about anything, just tell us what you want. We will also arrange for good people to teach you your four major talents of fire, magnetism, swordsmanship, and defense. Lu Chen nodded. There was nothing depressed about his expression. This made Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong feel at ease. Young people are high-spirited and most afraid of being hit. If the heart of martial arts is blocked, one may even begin to deny and doubt oneself. No matter how talented you are, you may stop making progress. Still need more encouragement. Chu Yuanlong glanced at Lu Chen and thought to himself. He can't compare to others on the list of geniuses, but Lu Chen has a promising future. Being temporarily behind is nothing now. With the talent of three colors and two golds, I will definitely be able to catch up in the future. However, they don't know. Lu Chen was also making secret calculations in his heart. If we really manage enough resources. The first thing. Raise the blood-eating worms from version 1.0 to version 2.0. There are currently 6.2 million fourth-generation animals. If the fifth generation can be fully reproduced, the number will be more than 300 million. Calculated this way, version 2.0 is still underestimated. Jump directly to version 5.0. Although the blood-devouring insect swarm cannot be used in the battle for the genius list, as Lu Chen's ultimate trump card, the more the merrier. The second thing, Dao derivatives, 
Although the colorful wings attached to the arms are multiplying every moment, the speed is still too slow. 60 per hour can no longer keep up with his consumption rate. After the battle in the special valley, he killed the Grand Master of the Ancient God Church and obtained two Xuanji techniques. If the evolution is arranged immediately, the number of Tao derivatives required is not a small number. And this does not include improving proficiency. The third thing. Sky Crystal Bug. In the future, there will be two more months of trials in the Tianjiao camp in the war zone. In terms of time, it is enough to obtain sufficient black gold magnet. The Sun family is in charge of this aspect, and they are also completely wealthy in terms of funds. After all, Lu Chen originally gave them the heaven level inner elixir for sale, and now they are negotiating. Wait until the crystal worms multiply in number. Lu Chen didn't know how strong his defense could be. As for the swordsmanship talent I just got, Lu Chen doesn't have any plans yet, he will wait for the elders to make arrangements. These thoughts flashed through my mind. Lu Chen looked at Chu Yuanlong and said to himself, Uncle Chu, you have no idea. I am one person's heritage. It's equivalent to a family that has been passed down for hundreds of years. The genius ranking competition will be held two months later. I am afraid that only then will the ranking be revealed. Take the shuttle bus and return to the villa area. Lu Chen greeted the two seniors, then left the martial arts academy and went straight to the house the Sun family bought for him. In two days, it will be time to report to the Tianjiao camp. Taking advantage of this time, let's evolve the two techniques first. Kai has been reproducing for so long, and the number of daughter Dao derivatives has also been reduced. On Mr. Sun's side, the whole family moved. It would take a few days before we could reach the main base. But small things like real estate have long been handled by people I know well. The entire main base of the Jongnan Theater is home to nearly 300 million people. You can imagine the housing prices. Different from cutting leaks in the previous life, the real estate here is not only a symbol of status, but also a layer of life protection. After Lu Chen left the martial arts academy, he called a taxi and went there. After sitting for three hours, I finally arrived at the gate of the community. By this time, it was nearly seven o'clock in the evening, and the sky had become gloomy. It's really far away. This area is at least 20 rings away from the core area, right? After shaking his head and sighing, Lu Chen walked in. It didn't take long for me to enter the house with three bedrooms and one living room through the electronic password. Mr. Sun is still very reliable in handling affairs. The house is clean, the refrigerator is stocked with a few days' worth of ingredients, and the shelves next to it are even stocked with snacks. New sheets, quilt covers, kitchen utensils, etc. were all purchased. Lu Chen just entered the room and took a look around. The doorbell rang. When he opened it, it was almost as Lu Chen guessed, it was indeed Sun Qi. Brother Fu, do you live next door to me? Yes. Tisk, Brother Fu, you are in trouble. You live in the first ring road in Linkang City, but you will fall directly to the 20th ring road when you come here. Sun Qi, is this something I can decide? After muttering a few words in his heart, he followed Lu Chen into the living room. After chatting for a while, he started talking. He looked very excited, danced and talked for a long time, and shared what he had seen today. Brother Lu, let me tell you, this place is really too prosperous. In the Warrior Mall, there are even Zon level techniques. I finally saw the X999 sword that I dreamed of, but it's a pity that I'm not allowed to touch it. Right, in the central area this morning, I saw people with dragon horns on their heads. They were dragging each other as hard as 250. They had conflicts with our warriors and even beat them. Several students from the Jongnan Martial Arts Academy couldn't stand it and were beaten. I originally wanted to go up, but I had too many things on my hands and was too busy to do anything. I could only watch them walk away. Quote dot 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 quote. Nagging. He spoke for more than an hour. Lu Chen didn't feel annoyed at all and just treated it as intelligence gathering. East China Sea Dragon Clan, Qingqiu Fox Clan, Wudang Mountain, Yunmongs, military prodigy, aristocratic families. One by one, the forces that Chu Yuanlong had heard about had already appeared. Either they keep a high profile, they hide their clumsiness, or they start forming cliques. Another half hour passed. Sun Qi's mouth was dry. 
After taking out a bottle of Coke from the refrigerator and finishing it, he invited Brother Lu, some of our talented young people in Linkang City are planning to have a get-together in the evening. Do you want to come over? I won't go. I have other plans for the evening. I knew you would answer like this. Sun Chi curled her lips and said. Lin Shaoui's reply to me was that she will go if you go. Now it seems that the two of you who are most concerned about it are both absent. Liu Chen smiled. Where does squad leader Lin live now? Sun Chi has always called him squad leader Lin. After hearing it more often, Lu Chen also started to call it this way, and it became easier for him to say it over time. She has already found a teacher at the Martial Arts Association headquarters. It is said that she is very strong. She seems to be a female grandmaster, even better than Grandmaster Song Kaifeng. After finishing speaking, Sun Chi waved his hand and said, It's getting late, I'll go there first. Just as he walked outside, he turned around and said, Brother Lu, my old man said that cultivation is about the combination of movement and stillness. If you work so hard every day, I'm afraid something will go wrong. So, Lu Chen heard that he had a follow-up. So, we have two days left before we go to Tianjiao camp. If we don't have some fun, we won't have a chance. Sun Qi rubbed her hands and stammered. I made an appointment with Huang Linglin to go out for a walk tomorrow, but she is so shy that she refuses to go out alone with me. I can only compromise and get you and squad leader Lin together. Brother Lu. No, it's the foster father. Please, my child. Looking at poor Sun Chi. Lu Chen thought for a while and agreed. After all, after he evolved his technique tonight, he seemed to have nothing to do, so he might as well go out for a walk. Chu Yuanlong also said it before. After the Tianjiao camp opens, there will be a two-month closed trial. It will be difficult to figure it out by then. Seeing Sun Qi leave with joy, Lu Chen closed the door and closed the curtains. After checking the house, no detection equipment was found. Then, let's start, opened the system panel and took a look. The number of Daoyan worms has soared from more than 8,000 to 19,409. It's definitely enough to evolve, but it's hard to say how to improve your proficiency. The previous, Seven Stars Cloud Hidden Step, at the sixth level of the Huang rank evolved into the Biyu Gang Tread Fight, at the first rank of the Earth rank, only 2,000 worm-derived bodies were consumed. Based on several evolutionary experiences. In general, the rules are summarized. The fifth level of Huang rank is the starting point, and evolution requires 1,000 Dao-derived insect bodies. Each time you upgrade to a higher level, there will be an additional 1,000. As for what Lu Chen wants to evolve this time, he has two choices, the Blood Seal Technique, at the 8th level of the Zon level, and the Blood Demon Eye, at the 2nd level of the Zon level. The number of bug cubs is only enough for one. Never mind, evolve the higher level ones first. After Lu Chen made a decision in his mind, he took a deep breath and got rid of the distracting thoughts in his mind. As his thoughts moved, the system prompts also appeared. Do you want to consume 12,000 Dao-derived insect bodies to evolve the Blood Seal Dafa, 8th level Xuanji? Evolution. On Lu Chen's right arm, the colorful clothes attached to it flew out immediately, fluttering those dreamy wings in front of him. As the air flow stirs, the void seems to be isolated. With Kai Yi as the center, a separate space was formed, and countless phantom light particles poured out from the veins of the wings. Even if I have seen it many times. Looking at the scene in front of him, Lu Chen still felt like a dream. Among the three current original female insects, Kai Kai is definitely the most beautiful, and this method of evolving is also a visual feast. At this time, as the number of light particles increases, a ball of colored light seems to be floating in the living room. The particles transformed from the bodies of 12,000 Daoyan insects seemed to come alive. In a mysterious way, he began to evolve his skills. The original content of Blood Seal Dafa emerged, and with a slight bang sound, it transformed into countless villains and began to practice, summarize, and deduce. After all, it is a Zon level technique. This evolutionary process is longer than the previous ones. It was not until five minutes later that the light particles merged into one and began to practice the final version until it was completely correct. Another three minutes passed. The colorful light group broke open and turned into a beam of light, blending in from the center of Lu Chen's eyebrows. 
you consume 12,000 Dao-derived insect bodies, and the blood seal technique evolves into the original demon blood seal technique. At the same time as the prompt, there is also specific information about the new technique. Original demon blood seal technique, gong technique. Rank. First grade heavenly rank. Explanation. Open 108 original demon blood orifices, use spiritual energy to turn into blood as a seal, hide it in the orifice, and take it at any time. Supplement. This technique has 9 levels in total. Every time 12 orifices are opened, it will be upgraded by one level. The introduction contains a lot of content. Lu Chen's eye looked at it carefully several times, and the light in his eyes became hotter and hotter. It is indeed a heaven-level technique. This kind of intensity is beyond the pale. To put it simply, each warrior has one and only one Dantian Zifu in his body, which is used to transform and store spiritual power. For example, when in the extraordinary state, it absorbs the spiritual power of heaven and earth and forms a cyclone in the Dantian. After reaching the fusion aperture realm, the spiritual power is further purified and compressed. Transform it into higher quality liquid spiritual power. However, whether it is the transcendent realm, the fusion realm, or a higher level of cultivation. When warriors are fighting, they are consuming the stored spiritual power in their bodies, which is equivalent to burning gas in a car. But this technique is a different approach. The so-called original magic point can be completely understood as an alternative, Dantian. 108 acupoints are equivalent to 108 Dantians, all of which can be used as fuel warehouses. The previous, Blood Seal Dafa, only had a maximum of 36 acupoints, and it had to absorb the blood of living creatures, condense it into a blood seal, and store it in it. And the evolved technique has three times more acupoints. The most important thing is. The energy, stored inside is no longer absorbing the blood of living beings, but is converted into blood seals by the spiritual power of heaven and earth. Lu Chen's heartbeat was beating violently. I just feel hot all over my body. If the original demon blood seal technique is upgraded to the ninth level and the extra 108 dantians are filled. Strength works wonders. Among the same level, it is absolutely recommended. Even fighting across the ranks is a common occurrence. Of course, after reaching the next realm, every level is like a chasm. The higher the level, the more you may have to act according to your ability, but if you are at a lower level, it's easy. No wonder the Grand Master of the Ancient God Church built a blood pool underground. It turned out that he was practicing. Thinking of this, Lu Chen became more and more frightened. Fortunately, my sneak attack was successful. Otherwise, let that person turn on the blood seal on his body, and his combat power will instantly increase several times or more than ten times. What a joke. Every Grand Master is hard to mess with. Wrong. Grand Master Song Kaifeng was different. He was stabbed by a woman in the sky control realm easily. Thinking of this, Lu Chen smiled. I don't know if Grand Master Song, who was completely dead in society, has left his hometown. After looking at the number of Daoyan larva, there were 7,409 left. After thinking about it, I didn't want to keep it either. Directly spending 7,000 pieces to upgrade the original demon blood seal technique to the first level. In an instant, there were slight explosions coming from many places in both arms of the body. It feels like a hole has been dug in those parts, it's hard to describe in detail. The 12 acupoints in the first level are all opened on both arms. Shaoshang, Lao Gong, Xiaofu, Yuji, Shenmin, Dailing. There are six on each hand, which are exactly symmetrical. The completion of the opening of the original demon blood aperture is equivalent to the construction of the pool. All that is left is to fill it with water. If this were someone else, it takes a long time to open a blood orifice, at least a few months, right? Filling it with spiritual power will take a long time. Lu Chen suddenly remembered. During the Battle of the Valley, the Grand Master of the Ancient God Church said with full of resentment that it took him 190 years to accumulate 35 blood seals. And I don't need it. To open the blood orifice, we only need to wait until there are enough Dao-derived insect bodies. It's easier to fill in the blood seal. With Hong Shuang's feedback, the worst thing is, don't improve your realm yet. Fill the 12 blood orifices first. The main base of the Jiangnan Theater, the outer circle, and the slums. 
The dilapidated door of the bar was pushed open, and loud and loud sounds suddenly poured out. You can vaguely see the dense crowd of people in the dim hall, twisting to the rhythm. Colorful laser rays shine everywhere in disorder. When he landed here, the face of the yellow-haired young man who walked in was dark and bright. It smells familiar. It's a pity that I won't be able to enjoy it for the next two months. He stretched out his arms and walked directly to the dance floor. As the people around him started to sway, various women would come over to interact with her from time to time, and it was inevitable to have their hands on her. After being satisfied, Huang Mao slowly retreated to the edge. In the eyes of several women, they stepped upstairs. After reaching the end, he opened the door and entered an office. Master, several figures sitting or standing inside immediately bowed and saluted, with unparalleled respect in their expressions. Uncle Fang, Aunt Lu, Mr. Ji Yu. We are all our own people, there is no need to be so polite to me. Liang Mingcho smiled and waved, then sat carelessly on the sofa, picked up the glass of wine in front of Aunt Lu, licked the lipstick-stained edge, and drank it all in one gulp. The three masters were accustomed to such actions and didn't care. I'm afraid I won't be able to come back to this place in a short time. The matter at hand must not be left behind. We have to trouble the three sword wielders. He said as he spoke. The hand was not honest, so it fell into Aunt Lu's hand to explore. The latter's plump body trembled slightly, and his eyes turned watery as he moved. After changing into a more enjoyable position, Liang Mingcho continued, The eldest brother and the twelfth sister have been assigned identities and can enter the Tianjiao camp. Naturally, I can't fall behind. Now, I have accepted a rubbish master from the Zhongnan Martial Arts Academy as my teacher, and I have also obtained the status of the Tianjiao camp. Hey hey hey, there are still capable people among Daxia's senior officials, and they are also very courageous. Tian Yuan's secret realm can use this kind of bargaining chip to bring all forces to the surface and have to bite the hook. At this time, after hearing this, Uncle Fang, who was opposite the sofa, said, the war outside the territory is not going well. Daxia cannot afford to delay it, so we can only look for help from within. The ancient man next to him also nodded and took over the words, otherwise, I wouldn't have taken out the Tian Yuan secret realm. These secrets are kept in their mouths and spoken out at will. Attitudes were all dismissive. It's just a futile struggle. One day, the ancient gods we believe in will come here. Cleanse the sins of the world and bring supreme light. After Liang Mingcho finished speaking, he shrugged and said, These things are what the big guys worry about. I have obtained my identity now and will enter the Tianjiao camp in two days. Tisk, tisk, tisk. The war zones are really generous, using so many resources. This wool needs to be harvested carefully. Speaking of excitement, his right hand suddenly increased its strength. It made Aunt Lu feel a little pain, she let out a muffled groan, her whole body tensed up, she gritted her teeth and did not dare to move. Right, the higher-ups of the church have given me a new mission to sow discord between the demon clan and the Daxia human race. He took his hand out, sniffed it as if intoxicated, and continued, between the Yazoo and Daxia, they seem to be inseparable. Although they are nominal allies, various conflicts have been arousing. Especially the East China Sea Dragon Clan. Two hundred years ago, after the old witch from the Bodian Society beheaded a dragon prince, the conflict was completely ignited. Speaking of the organization Ba Tianwei, there was a killing intent in Liang Mingcho's eyes. That day, he followed his newly recognized master to the Zhongnan Martial Arts Testing Center to test his talent, and then he was beaten by that Chu Yuanlong. That was the first time in his life that he had been slapped. What a huge psychological shadow it was for him to be a big bidu. That kind of anger must be washed away with blood. Your apprentice's talent is rubbish, so you're going to take advantage of a junior. The people from Ba Tianwei are so good that they deserve to die. I'll give you an idea, and you'll be responsible for implementing it. Several geniuses from the East China Sea Dragon Clan have already arrived at the base. There are still two days left. Find a suitable time to create an irresolvable incident. Well, the best thing is to let a talented young man be beaten to death by the Dragon Clan's genius in public. Liang Mingcho's eyes sparkled. After a pause for a few seconds, he added, I'll tell you a few candidates. You guys can arrange them as you go. Lin Kang City, Lu Chen. Now he has joined the Ba Tian Club. 
Main Base, Shangguan Yan of the Shangguan family. Ajo City, Ren Likin. Early the next morning, Lu Chen was pulled by Sun Qi and headed to the central area of the main base. Not long after getting off the car, Lin Shaoyi and Huang Linglin also arrived together. Looking at the makeup and clothes, it was obvious that she had been dressed up deliberately. Fortunately for Huang Linglin, she comes from a big family in Linkang City. She usually attaches great importance to everything, and her clothes are always cute and delicate. Compared with usual, today I look more youthful and beautiful. But at this time, if she was the only one arriving, it would be a beautiful sight. However, next to her, there was Lin Shaoyi. In comparison, it can only serve as a foil. Today's squad leader Lin no longer wears a ponytail, and his hair is spread like a waterfall. Wearing a slim-fitting long skirt with a light waist and a ribbon, it looks like she has a curvy figure. Seeing Lu Chen looking at her, her face instantly turned red and she lowered her head unconsciously. Ha 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 ha, everyone is here, let's go. Sun Qi winked at Lu Chen and gave a secret thumbs up. As if acting as a tour guide, he continued, there are 12 warrior cities in the entire main base of the Jiangnan Theater. The biggest among them is Xingyufang, which we are going to soon. It is said to be opened by a certain big shot. It is in good order and the price is relatively reasonable. Even big guys like the Grand Master come to hang out from time to time. If I can catch the leak, I might make a lot of money. Of course, we don't have such discernment, but it's still okay to buy some small things that we like. For today's date with Huang Linglin. Yesterday I was alone and stepped here a little bit. It can be said that I have done enough homework. Now it's easy to introduce it. After talking for a while, he chatted and laughed with Huang Linglin and led the way, deliberately letting Lu Chen and Lin Shaoyi stay behind. The two walked in silence for a while. Lin Shaoyi seemed to be even more nervous. Seeing that Lu Chen had no intention of speaking, she said first, Lu Chen, we meet again. Lu Chen nodded, well, I haven't seen you for a day. Lin Shaoyi, walk through the crowd. Lu Chen could clearly sense the aura fluctuations of many warriors around him. There are still some things that he can't sense, and they seem ordinary, but the look and temperament are definitely those of a practitioner. Compared with Lin Kang City, the number of warriors here at the main base is terrifyingly huge. Ten minutes later, finally arrived at the destination of this trip, Xingyufeng. A gold-plated plaque more than 10 meters high was erected at the intersection, with three big Chinese characters flying like dragons and phoenixes, carrying a touch of coercion. It was extraordinary at first glance. The flow of people here is overwhelming. There are also many ordinary people here to watch the excitement and gain knowledge. Family members, there are as many strong people as dogs in this place. After Sun Qi and Lu Chen approached, he whispered, this place is no better than our Linkang city, but no one will protect us. Just be careful with your words and actions. Lu Chen gave a thumbs up. I didn't expect that I, the young master son of Linkang, would live a miserable life. Sun Qi stared. What are you talking about? How can this mean living an ignoble existence? You are clearly doing as the Romans do. After saying that, he snorted coldly and stepped inside with Huang Linglin. Lu Chen smiled and said to Lin Shaoyi next to him, let's go in and take a walk. The main streets of Xingyufang City are filled with magnificent facades, all decorated in an extremely grand manner. Every font size plaque is extraordinary. Through the open door, Lu Chen could see the dazzling array of goods inside, all needed by warriors. Pills, weapons, techniques, materials. Everything you need. Not long after walking, he saw a familiar store, Juding Pavilion. Lu Chen stayed at the branch in Linkang City for nearly a month. Raise insects, improve your cultivation, evolve your skills. Now that I see the headquarters, I feel quite emotional. More than 10 minutes passed. Under the leadership of Sun Qi, the four finally came to an area where they could afford to buy. Free Trading Zone This area occupies a huge area, it is completely flat land with no buildings. At a glance, you can't even see the edge because there are so many people. Many warriors were sitting on the ground, with a wooden board or piece of cloth in front of them, on which the trading goods were placed. After coming here, Sun Qi and Huang Linglin also came closer. Timely introduction. There are more than 50,000 stalls here, divided into categories, all of which are set up by individual warriors. 
They only need to pay a small fee and can stay here for a day. As for the price of the goods, they are all set by the sellers themselves. How much they can repay depends on their ability. There's more. If you see some old guys here, don't offend them. Maybe they are a grandmaster. They love hanging out here the most. After finishing speaking, Sun Chi took Huang Linglin and Lu Chen parted ways. We agreed to go shopping and see you later. Lin Shaiyui followed suit, followed Lu Chen, and started walking around casually. Material area, Lu Chen looked up at the sign and wanted to try his luck. After learning the original demon blood seal technique, Lu Chen's demand for Tao derivative insects reached its peak. The heavenly level Kung Fu is so delicious. Each door is a qualitative improvement for yourself. As for the blood devouring worms, we just have to wait for the resources of Tianjiao camp. How many we can cultivate is still unknown. As for the sky crystal insect, Mr. Sun Junyu is purchasing Wujin Magnet so there is no need to worry. Only Dao derivatives. Lu Chen sighed. The rules for the reproduction of Dao derivative insects are really harsh. Kai can only reproduce 60 animals per hour, and only 1,440 animals per day. Previously, it took 7,000 pieces to upgrade, original demon blood seal Dafa, from the entry level to the first level. Upgraded to the second level, it doubled several times. Want 30,000. If you just wait, Kai will breed for 20 days, which is enough. As for the third level, I dare not even think about it. And, it won't be long before two seniors, Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong, will come to teach him the swordsmanship skills of the Ba Tianwei lineage. If nothing else, at least the ground level. If it evolves again, it will probably explode. You still have to find materials to feed. Lu Chen now only knows that things related to comprehension can speed up the reproduction of Kai. As for whether there are any other materials, it's still unknown. So after coming here, he planned to try his luck. Anyway, if he feels something, Kai will tell him, just take a walk around. Somewhere in the free trade zone. Fang Xing and Lu Xiaohui, two of the three masters of Liang Mingcho of the ancient god church, were watching Lu Chen silently. The time limit for this mission is only two days. According to the young master's arrangement, find an opportunity to let the East China Sea Dragon Clan kill a genius seedling. This condition is really harsh. After monitoring all the proposed candidates, today, one finally showed up. Lin Kang City, Lu Chen. Looking away from him, the two of them looked at each other and saw the smile in each other's eyes. The opportunity has come. Fellow Taoist Lu, you are here to keep an eye on me. I will go to the main street of Xingyu Square to attract some of the geniuses from the Dragon Clan. Fortunately, they will be coming to Fangxi in the past few days. As for the subsequent script, I also have some ideas. You can plan from his good friend, Sun Qi. Fang Xing smiled confidently. Then left quickly. Xingyu Fang, free trade zone. The crisscrossing stalls are dotted with countless commodities. Just after Lu Chen and Lin Shaiyui went to the material area, Sun Qi and Huang Linglin turned left and right and went straight to the place where women gathered. This area is very accurately positioned and specializes in selling women's items. And all of them are made by warriors. For example, gorgeous gauze skirts that can change colors after charging, pearl hairpins that transform into magpie projections, and even black silk that can be restored by itself after being torn. There are so many things to see that it's overwhelming. Whether it's a warrior or an ordinary person, as long as the gender is female, their eyes will shine when they come here. Young Master Sun generously donated money and bought a few small accessories for Huang Linglin. The latter was very happy and also paid for Sun Qi's outfit, and also bought a replica of the X-999 sword. The price of the genuine product is not dared to touch. The imitations are not bad, at least they look the same. Both of them were happy, and their relationship warmed up a little. After strolling around for a while, a stall in front of them suddenly attracted many people, which was particularly lively. Sun Qi and Huang Linglin naturally went over. Standing behind the crowd, they looked at it on tiptoe. The stall owner was a middle-aged woman with a plump figure and a middle-aged lady's dress, which was quite pretty. On the stall in front of her, there was only one item. A necklace. At a glance, Huang Linglin couldn't take her eyes off it, just like the girls around her. 
The whole necklace is made up of a string of delicate pearls, each of which is the size of a grain of rice. You can vaguely see a hint of light pink floating inside, like petals falling from the sky. The central pendant is a special crystal the size of a finger and shaped like a teardrop, which is hollow inside. With the vision of a warrior, he could see clearly that the inside of the crystal seemed to be surging with liquid, and a dreamy little mermaid was swimming inside. After a moment of amazement in his heart, Sun Chi turned his head and found that Huang Linglin's eyes were full of desire. He sighed in his heart, thinking that this thing was not something he could afford. Even if he really wanted to buy it, Huang Linglin would definitely not agree. Having said that, Sun Chi still looked at the brand next to the necklace, and his eyes widened immediately. 500,000. This is too cheap. This is clearly something that a warrior can use. The inside of those pearls is engraved with a microarray, which can have the effect of calming the mind and nourishing the skin. Other similar things start at at least 5 million. However, before Sun Chi could be happy, he found two lines of words below the price. This necklace is called, Heart of the Ocean. It was worn by my beloved girl when she was alive. Before she died, she said that she only wanted to give it to someone who was destined to have it. Mermaids have spirits. If you can make them sing when you touch them, then you are destined to have it. This price. Add these two lines of words, it looks like a routine no matter how you look at it. Is it a scam? As the number one young master in Linkang, although Sun Chi is extremely generous, he is definitely not a fool. After thinking for a while, he couldn't find anything. At the same time, among the crowd, girls kept walking out and reaching out to touch the necklace, but they didn't trigger any strange phenomena. Go with expectation, and return with disappointment. Let's go. Let's go somewhere else, Huang Linglin retracted her gaze and said softly. Don't you want to try? Sun encouraged. Me, Huang Linglin shook her head. Let's not talk about whether it's true or not. Even if it's true, I can't have this luck. She turned her head and looked over there, and continued, Look, so many people have tried, but none of them succeeded. Sun Chi didn't care about that. After pushing the people in front away, he pulled Huang Linglin over there without stopping. Try it, since you're here. Sun Chi said with a smile. You are even more naive than me. Huang Linglin rolled her eyes. She still squatted down happily, with a hint of expectation in her heart, and touched the necklace pendant with her hand. No one noticed. At this moment, the female monk who was setting up the stall looked at Huang Linglin strangely. The right hand tucked into the sleeve gently crushed something. Then, a strange scene happened. The pendant seemed to be activated, emitting a hazy light blue halo, and the sound of the surging waves suddenly came from it. At the same time, the little mermaid inside the pendant really began to sing. A faint singing voice floated out. Huang Linglin was stunned. Her eyes widened instantly. She looked at the necklace in front of her in disbelief, and then turned to look at Sun Chi, and found that the latter was also confused. At this time, Liu Xiaohui, who was disguised as a stall owner, was also excited. Her eyes instantly turned red and tears fell, my daughter's last wish has really come true. My child, you are the destined person. In the distance, another master of the ancient god church who was responsible for creating the incident showed a satisfied smile on his face. The fish has taken the bait. Humans, how can it be so easy to become one in a million? But the more so, the more you will protect this necklace. Fang Xing moved his eyes away and looked at the entrance of the free trade zone. There, several tall figures were strolling around casually, and they seemed to be quite interested in the small objects in the human world. The two young men led by them had dragon horns on their foreheads. Wherever he went, people around him instantly retreated, as if avoiding the plague god. The day before yesterday, the dragon clan's genius had a conflict with the great Shaw warriors because someone's weapon was made of dragon scales. For this reason, they fought and made a big fuss. And this time, the pendant of this necklace is made of a dragon eye. On the other side, Lu Chen took a quick look and strolled around the material area. He really kept walking, walking a path every few minutes, turning a corner and continuing. Anyway, these materials were basically unknown. Coming here was purely a matter of luck. If it was really useful, the colorful clothes on the arm could also be sensed at a close distance. Unfortunately, so far, nothing has been found. Lin Shaiyui followed him closely. Life was hopeless, 
She even had some doubts now, could Lu Chen also be a social phobia? During this period, she also tried to find some topics to talk about from time to time, but the responses she got were always crazy. For example, hey, Lu Chen, look, that earth flame coral is so beautiful. Lu Chen replied, it's bare, it's all secreted by insects, but speaking of insects, I quite like it. There's nothing wrong with what he said. As a liberal arts master, Lu Chen's knowledge in this area is absolutely in place. Even if it's a mutant coral, it's indeed formed by the secretions of mutant coral polyps. But is Lin Shaiyui seeking knowledge? That kind of mood is not something that can be explained to outsiders. After several times in a row, she was also silent. The two of them walked silently in the material area at a very fast speed without stopping for a step. After nearly 20 minutes, Lin Shaiyui was following, carefully looking at the practice materials on both sides, just as if she was increasing her knowledge. Who would have thought that the figure in front of her suddenly stopped? Isn't this a collision? Coincidence, it's really a coincidence. Lu Chen turned his head and asked, are you okay? Lin Shaiyui blushed and took a step back quietly, ah, I'm okay, I'm okay. The long skirt she wore today was originally slim fitting, and she was a little absorbed in reading the introduction of a certain material just now. She accidentally bumped into him. She almost stuck her head to Lu Chen's back. The touch from somewhere made her face feel like it was on fire, and her neck and earlobes were all blushing. After answering Lu Chen's question at this time, she didn't dare to raise her head at all. She stood beside him with her whole body tense. She heard Lu Chen squatting down and casually asked, how much is this thing? Lin Shaiyui took a look quietly. It was a common material called Chishui sand. It is generally used to practice palm type skills or to create specific alloys. What does he want this thing for? It will be more cost effective to buy it in the martial arts academy with credits in the future. At least one third cheaper. Although she thought so in her heart, she didn't say anything. 300,000 a pound. The stall owner was a big man who did not hide his aura. He was a martial artist in the Rongqiao realm. After casually replying, he looked at Lu Chen and continued, If the demand is large, I can sell it at a lower price. Don't worry, there will be enough. Hey, Lu Chen said disdainfully, Redwater sand sells for 300,000 a pound. Do you think that students of Jiangnan Martial Arts Academy are being cheated? If I didn't have enough credits and urgently needed experimental consumables, would I buy it from you? 150,000 a pound. Do you want to sell it? If not, forget it. The boss gritted his teeth and said in a muffled voice, Okay, how much do you want? Lu Chen did not answer, but pointed to the jade bottle next to the red water sand and said, Is this all the chalcedony liquid? I want 50,000 a pound too. As he spoke, he secretly looked at the boss's expression. Sure enough, after hearing that he called out, Chalcedony liquid, the man's expression was obviously a little fluctuating, as if he knew it for the first time. Lin Shaiyui next to him was also confused. This kind of water is called chalcedony liquid. I haven't learned this in the textbook. 50,000 per pound is too cheap. I didn't get the chalcedony liquid easily. It costs at least 80,000 per pound. You can buy it if you want. The boss looked like a meat roll. A smile appeared in the depths of Lu Chen's eyes. The other party also called him the name he had chosen randomly. It seems that the implanted identity information caused the other party to misjudge. He asked Chishwisha as soon as he came. He just wanted to take the opportunity to tell the other party that he was a student of Jungnan Martial Academy and worked in the laboratory. He had a wide range of knowledge and was familiar with the prices of various materials. After this step was in place, it was what he really wanted. Lu Chen didn't know what the liquid was called, but Kai reacted strongly and said it could be used to accelerate reproduction. It must be extremely precious to be used as food by Daoyan insects. After all, when he was in Lin Kang City before, he spent billions of dollars to get some materials related to enlightenment. And there are also some on this stall. Lu Chen guessed that the other party got it by chance and didn't know him at all, so he cheated him. 80,000, I'm losing too much. Lu Chen frowned and thought about it, then sighed, forget it, the chalcedony liquid I ordered will arrive in a few days, I'll use yours first. By the way, how much do you have, take it all. The boss's face suddenly showed joy. 
he took out five or six huge jade bottles from the storage equipment and handed them over. Little brother, you also know that this chalcedony liquid is very heavy. One bottle weighs 10 kilograms, a total of 63 kilograms, 5.04 million. Let's agree in advance that this is a small business, so no zeros can be made. Seeing that Lu Chen hesitated for a few seconds, he started to pay directly. The boss asked hurriedly, where's Chishui Sha? Do you want more? Lu Chen shook his head and sighed, no, I suffered a big loss today. If I buy it again, I will be scolded by my instructor when I go back. The boss had a smile on his face and said no more. The look in Lu Chen's eyes softened a bit. Deliver the goods with one hand and pay with the other hand. After putting the special spiritual liquid into the storage ring, Lu Chen couldn't help feeling a little excited deep in his heart. But he disguises it well. He stood up and said in a nonchalant manner, If you still have it next time, brother, just sell it to me. No more. The big man shook his head and told the truth. The chalcedony liquid in that cave has almost dried up, and I only got this. Lu Chen nodded and left directly. After walking far away, Lin Sheyui said quietly, Lu Chen, isn't this called chalcedony liquid? Lu Chen was stunned and asked curiously, I did do it casually, how did you know? Lin Sheyui shook her head. Not only is the name wrong, but that boss was also deceived into a fool by you. Seeing the shock on Lu Chen's face, she laughed softly. You usually talk less. If you were serious about shopping, you wouldn't talk so much. Only if you are not serious, you will talk a lot in a roundabout way. Can't you tell, squad leader Lin has great wisdom. Lu Chen praised sincerely. Hum, Lin Sheyui raised her chin proudly. It's like a kitten whose head was touched and couldn't help but purr. The two of them continued shopping. However, not long after walking, there was a sudden noise in my ears. Vaguely, someone could still be heard shouting, the genius of the East China Sea Dragon Clan is going to beat someone up again. More and more people started to flock there. Lu Chen turned around and looked around. It was crowded with people, and he had no idea what was going on inside. Neither he nor Lin Sheyui likes to watch the excitement. Without stopping at all, I continued shopping in the materials area. But some people don't want him to continue. From the crowd over there, a loud shout came over the noise, I know the person who was beaten. He is the genius of the Sun family in Lin Kang City. I heard that he is a young man who is going to join the genius camp. Lu Chen suddenly turned around. Frowning, he looked towards the place where the sound came from, but couldn't find the target. As a warrior, he could clearly sense through the sound that the person shouting was not facing the place where the incident occurred, but facing him. A thittergoer shouting outside and it happens to be towards yourself. This matter, it's a bit strange, but at this moment, there was no time to hesitate, because the one who was in trouble was Sun Qi. One of Lu Chen's few friends. Suppressing the doubts in their hearts, he and Lin Sheyui quickly passed by, separated from the crowd, and reached the innermost part. In the area surrounded by crowds, the people setting up stalls have disappeared. There are only a few figures. Two of them were dressed in noble clothes, with cold temperaments, and two dragon horns on their foreheads. There are also a few who may be followers and guides, with powerful auras, and they are all in the air control realm. And their group of people are facing each other. Standing there are Sun Qi and Huang Linglin. I say it again, take off that necklace and give it to me. A dragon boy took a step forward, with an imposing manner, and continued coldly, then, you, you trash, kneel down and apologize for what you just said. He stretched out his hand and pointed at Sun Qi. The terrifying pressure is unbridled and sweeping over. It was as if there was a mountain-like force that was going to push Sun Qi to the ground and make him kneel down. The muscles all over his body were overwhelmed and were already trembling. His forehead, face, and back were all soaked with sweat. But Sun Qi still persisted. He protected Huang Linglin behind him and stared at the dragon prodigy with his red eyes. Everything that needs to be said has been said. But the response he received was only arrogance and disdain, and the look he looked at himself was like looking at an ant. Seeing the tense atmosphere becoming more and more intense, Huang Linglin's eyes were red, and she gently pulled Sun Qi's sleeve, suppressing her tears and said, Sun Qi, give them the necklace, give them, let's not cause trouble, go back, let's go back. 
Sun Chi still didn't speak. I just felt like my heart was being stabbed by something. It hurts. It hurt so much that he wanted to look up to the sky and scream. This was the second time that he felt heartbroken because of his low strength. Last time, after being ambushed by the ancient god church, Lu Chen left him and Lin Shaoyi alone and entered the valley alone to fight. But this time it's different. He and Huang Linglin obviously did nothing wrong, so why did they have to hand over the things and kneel on the ground to apologize? Why the hell is this? An overestimating ant. After the dragon boy cursed indifferently, he seemed a little impatient, despicable reptile, I say it for the last time, don't. I despise your mother. Sun Chi's angry roar echoed throughout the trading area like a cry of blood. At the same time, the spiritual power all over his body surged and he rushed over. Even ordinary people sometimes get angry. What's more, he is the direct genius of Lin Kang's son family. Although before coming to the main base, Grandpa Sun Junyu repeatedly warned, you must be patient. You must endure it. Don't cause trouble. To be honest, Tianzhao camp just needs to mix some resources, as much as it can. But sometimes, I really can't bear it. His eyes were blood red, and he was using his spiritual talent crazily, thinking of attacking first. It can be clearly seen that his attack has no effect at all. The eyes of the dragon boy opposite him were always indifferent. That look in his eyes, seeing him rushing over, was no different from seeing a bug on the roadside. Seek death. The genius of the dragon clan had no expression on his face, raised his hand, and suddenly a dragon roar exploded. In the void, a tide of spiritual power instantly washed away. The terrifying pressure made the onlookers retreat continuously. But the next moment, the huge momentum suddenly disappeared out of thin air. Lu Chen walked towards the field step by step, and his electromagnetic power intensified, clearing the original field instantly. Among the crowd, Fang Xing and Lu Xiaohui, who caused this incident, both looked a little excited. The big fish has also taken the bait. If nothing unexpected happens, this mission is stable. As long as Lu Chen is beaten to death in public, it doesn't matter if he is injured. The ancient god church can continue to make a fuss about this matter and further worsen the relationship between the East China Sea Dragon Clan and Daxia. This first move is the most important. Now, it will be completed soon. At this moment, Lu Chen stepped out of the way and stood in front of Sun Qi. With calm eyes, he said seriously, leave it to me. After bowing his head and being silent for a few seconds, Sun Qi hid his emotions and said with a wry smile, Brother Lu has to come to the rescue. After finishing speaking, he took a deep look at the dragon boy. Silently retreat to the back. Just as he helped Huang Linglin up, Sun Qi heard Lu Chen's voice, are the barbarians nowadays so unscrupulous? Looking into the field, he saw Lu Chen standing in his previous position with a serious look on his face. After pausing for a few breaths, he turned to the dragon genius and said, I also give you a choice. Go over to my friend and kneel down to apologize. The words that just humiliated Sun Qi. Lu Chen returned it intact to the other party. But he didn't notice that Sun Qi's face and expression in the back kept changing, and he was a little stunned. The grievances, anger, fear, and confusion accumulated in my heart. As if being ignited by these words, he burst out. He's standing up for me. Somehow, Sun Qi suddenly wanted to cry. He raised his hand and wiped it randomly, not sure if it was sweat or something else. And after Lu Chen said these words, the onlookers all looked astonished. That's the dragon clan. Not only is his talent unparalleled, but he also receives various preferential treatment due to official agreements. For example, the two Sky Control Realm warriors were sent there by the authorities to act as followers and guides. There have been several conflicts in the past few days. Those who were beaten were all human warriors, but nothing happened to the dragon geniuses. It is precisely because of these things that among so many people now, no one has come forward to speak out. Even here, there is a grandmaster from the main base. The water is too deep. If you force yourself to stand out, you are making yourself unhappy. But Lu Chen didn't care about this. He looked across, frowned, and said seriously again, didn't you hear what I said clearly? I told you to kneel down and apologize to my friend. Ao Feng laughed. The expression on his face became more and more ferocious. He ignored Lu Chen and asked the two followers behind him, can this man be killed? 
The two sky controlling warriors didn't dare to answer. They just bowed. Zhang Chuyang, he snorted coldly, looked at the crowd, and suddenly shouted, This prince asks you. Can this man be killed? Another handsome young man walked from the crowd. After coming to Lu Chen, he smiled bitterly and said, I won't ask who you are. No matter what force is behind you, you can't cover this matter. How about this? You can cripple your arms, and I can still save your life. After he said that, he found that there was no emotion on the face of Lu Chen in front of him. So he sighed and continued, the necklace on the girl's neck was made by dragon eyes. Do you understand now? And you can't beat them. I advise you to accept my proposal and don't make a mistake. He only said the reason. But he didn't mention the humiliation of Sun Qi by the Dragon Clan's Tianjiao at all. Perhaps in his opinion, these are not important. I thought that after saying this, the person in front of him should make a choice. But I didn't expect it. Lu Chen suddenly turned his head, looked straight at him, and asked, Are you Zhang Chuyang? Are you from the Zhongnan Zhang family? Chu Yuanlong told him, The top of the pyramid of the entire Daxia is the eight great families. These eight families all rose at the beginning of the great changes in the world, and their ancestors were blessed in the Tianyuan secret realm, so they soared to the sky. After nearly 600 years of cultivation, the depth of the foundation and the breadth of the power have reached a terrifying level. Although Daxia was established by martial arts, it shared the world with the nine martial arts academies. But the biggest interest group within the nine martial arts academies is the power of the eight great families. That's why. He, Zhang Chuyang, is qualified to say such words. At this time, after hearing Lu Chen's inexplicable question, he frowned and nodded, Yes, I am indeed from the Zhang family. Lu Chen said again, Since you are a member of the Zhang family, you don't protect the people of Zhongnan, but help the aliens to do evil. Why is this? This question was asked. The entire free trade zone was dead silent. Among the onlookers, many people were indignant, their faces flushed, and they wanted to shout out immediately. But no one dared. They could only use silence to replace it. Because in Zhongnan, the Zhang family is no different from the sky. Zhang Chuyang's face instantly turned cold. He glanced at Lu Chen lightly, as if looking at a dead person. Turning his head again, he said to Ao Feng, You can deal with it as you like, I'll just watch the show. Chapter 91 As the son of the Zhang family Zhang Chuyang always felt that those who can be called geniuses must have good brains in addition to talent. But he made it clear what he should and shouldn't say. If he were a normal person, he would definitely make the right choice. It's just cutting off his own arms to solve the problem. Moreover, for a warrior, a warrior in the fusion realm, breaking two arms is really not a big deal, there are many ways to heal. What he lost at this time is nothing more than face but embarrassment also depends on the occasion. When the opponent's level is completely beyond oneself, it is not called embarrassment, but knowing when to advance and retreat. But Lu Chen not only rejected his proposal, he also asked himself seriously why he helped the alien race to oppress his compatriots. Is this a talk? Not knowing when to advance and retreat is fine, but also having no overall view. The look in Zhang Chuyang's eyes turned indifferent, and he walked to the side and watched from the sidelines. Things have gotten to this point, and he can no longer calm them down. He is too lazy to calm them down. A fool, just die. And at this time, after seeing Zhang Chuyang's statement, Ao Feng no longer has any scruples, staring at Lu Chen with a tyrannical look, as if thinking about how to torture him. As one of the princes of the East China Sea Dragon Clan, he knew from a young age that he was born noble, and the father behind him is also one of the strongest in the world. He has the right to be arrogant. This time, he came to Daxia with several geniuses of the Dragon Clan to prepare to participate in the Tianjiao camp. But in this main base, it was discovered that someone used parts of the Dragon Clan to make equipment. For this reason, he ignored his father's instructions and caused several incidents. Several people were seriously injured by him. Although the storm was not small, but it was quickly suppressed by the Zhang family, and he had nothing to do with it. Ao Feng is not stupid, so he naturally guessed. The Zhang family, or Daxia, has some kind of cooperative relationship with the East China Sea Dragon Clan, and even needs the Dragon Clan. This is equivalent to having one more bargaining chip on his body. 
All kinds of thoughts flashed through his mind. Ao Feng stared at Lu Chen, walked up slowly, and sneered, I heard that you humans have a tradition of taming fierce beasts as pets. Let's do this. If you agree to be my pet, I won't kill you, and follow me, you might be able to rise to prominence. At the same time, between words, a golden dragon mark lit up between his eyebrows. The pressure, which was more than ten times greater than before, swept in like a tsunami. The magnetic field released by Lu Chen was instantly destroyed and squeezed around himself, and was in danger. And at this time, Ao Feng still kept his pace, and the pressure he released was gradually increasing. While putting pressure on Lu Chen, he gave him a time to reply. When his eyes fell on Lu Chen and he found that he frowned, Ao Feng felt a little pleasure in his heart and felt that he had won. Killing a human genius might be easy. But if he could be a pet. But it can be heartbreaking. How dare you, you brat. Suddenly, an unexpected incident occurred, and a loud shout came from the crowd. Ao Feng's pressure seemed to hit the top of a mountain, and it was difficult to get in any further. He looked over with a gloomy face. He saw an old man with a goatee, walking out slowly. When the man passed by Lu Chen, he patted his shoulder approvingly and nodded encouragingly. The latter was slightly stunned. It seemed that he had some impression that he was setting up a stall in the material area. The murderous intent in his heart was slightly restrained, and Lu Chen said in his mind, Hong Shuang, wait a moment. When you need it later, use the flame form to appear. After sensing it just now, Lu Chen roughly guessed Ao Feng's strength, the high stage of the sky control realm, and the specific level was unclear. Frankly speaking, without using the blood-sucking insect swarm, Lu Chen has the sky crystal guardian brought by 840,000 sky crystal insects, so he can only be invincible. But it is far from enough to force the other party to apologize. Then he had to use another trump card, Red Frost's flame form. After the last battle in the valley, he devoured the head of Wu Kang, the grandmaster of the ancient god church. The little guy evolved again. The flame ability also evolved from Red Lotus Hellfire to Nine Nether Tribulation Fire with earth-shaking power. Lu Chen even felt that his current sky crystal guardian could not protect against Red Frost's flames. This killer move is also one of his strongest attack trump cards. Maybe it won't be long. After the 12 blood orifices of the first level of original demon blood seal method are fully charged, it can also be crushed head-on, but at least, not now. But just when Lu Chen was about to make a move, someone entered the scene. Looking at that breath, it is clearly a grandmaster. The old man with a goat beard stood in front of Lu Chen and stared at Ao Feng. While speaking, he was questioning Zhang Chuyang who was standing at the edge. As a member of the Zhang family, don't you know that every member of the Tianjiao camp is a seed of Daxia? You can obviously stop it. But because of your own anger, you let the situation deteriorate. Your heart is black. Could it be that the Zhang family has been arrogant for nearly 600 years, but now it has degenerated to this point, and all the Tianjiao in the family are short-sighted like you? These words were directed at Zhang Chuyang. The latter's face kept changing, and it was ashen. His chest rose and fell violently, and his indifferent eyes began to be violent. But he still didn't speak. He just stared at the old man with a goatee fiercely. In front of the Grand Master, he is a genius in the sky control realm. No matter how outstanding he is, he does not dare to make mistakes. Not to mention, this old man's identity is not ordinary. After the words fell, among the crowd, a few figures walked out again. Both men and women, both masters, stood in front of Lu Chen and protected him. Although he didn't say anything. But that kind of silence made the onlookers feel deafening. There seems to be a fire burning in my heart. Lu Chen didn't expect that the situation would develop to this point. Although I feel warm in my heart. But he also sighed. There is no accident in this matter. I am afraid that the big thing will be reduced to a small matter, and the trivial matter will be reduced. The only one who was hurt was Sun Chi. He he. The big one bullies the small ones, is this how the great Sha treats guests? Came the mocking voice. On the top floor of a certain building in Xingyufeng in the distance, a figure walked over with his hands on his back, stepping into the void, like a leisurely stroll. There is obviously a distance of several thousand meters, but we have arrived in three steps. Behind him, there were several other figures. 
After seeing the man falling from the sky, Ao Feng suddenly became happy and shouted, Uncle Wu! You are here! The latter nodded slightly. He didn't say much, but waited for the next few people to arrive. The faces of the several grandmasters standing in front of Lu Chen changed slightly and became extremely solemn. The person Ao Feng calls Uncle Wu is also from the East China Sea Dragon Clan. His name is Ao Gan. The dragon horn in front of his forehead is not the white jade color of Ao Feng, but a deep silver color, even a little light gold. This means that his cultivation level is the limit of a grandmaster. Call out, call out, call out. Several more figures fell. The leader glanced around, his face sullen, and he didn't have time to say anything. In my ears, I heard Ao Gan say indifferently, it seems that Daxia doesn't welcome us very much. His eyes were faintly looking at the masters in front of Lu Chen. While talking to himself, he stepped forward and stepped forward. The pressure of landslides and tsunamis fell like thunder. Every step you take, the faces of those grand masters looked a little pale. Under the pressure, the ground beneath his feet began to crack. Here, you are bullying me, the genius of the dragon clan. Can I understand that there is no need for my strong dragon clan on the battlefield outside the territory? Oh, by the way, I, the dragon clan of the East China Sea, am also one of the leaders of the monster clan. You humiliate us like this. Doesn't it seem like you don't take the entire monster clan seriously? Still, Daxia is as strong as ever. There is no need for our help on the battlefield outside the territory. The expression on Ao Gan's face had completely turned cold. He takes a step forward again. The grandmasters who were standing in front of Lu Chen all had blood bleeding from the corners of their mouths and their bodies were trembling. But still persisting, no one is opting out either. Because if they fall, Lu Chen will definitely die. Elder Zhang Ming, am I right? Ao Gan smiled disdainfully, then turned to look at the old man of the Zhang family, and continued, I just need an answer now, and a satisfactory answer. The latter's face was extremely ugly. This level of pressure has already made him, who is also the Grand Master, break out in cold sweat. There was silence for a few breaths. A decision has been made. He strode forward, looked at the masters, and growled, whatever you are doing, get out of the way. Don't force me to do it. Seeing that those people were unmoved, a trace of ferociousness flashed across his face, he will bear the responsibility for whatever the boy caused. In the overall situation, everyone must be willing to sacrifice. I say it for the last time, get out of the way. The old man with a goatee was the first to help Lu Chen speak. At this time, he laughed miserably. Wiping the blood from the corner of his mouth, he said sadly, if the overall situation you talk about is groveling and asking for help, then Daxia might as well be dead. The Zhang family has a 600-year heritage, and the ancestor died standing up. Responded to his. It's an even more terrifying pressure. When the old man with the goatee's face was as golden as paper and was about to collapse. A hand reached out from behind and supported him. Old man, thank you. Lu Chen looked gentle and chuckled. But he is right, I will bear the responsibility for whatever I caused myself. I noticed two people coming behind me. Seems ready to stand with itself. He shook his head again and said, Brother Fu, squad leader Lin, please do me a favor, help the uncles and aunts to rest. Sun Qi and Lin Shaoyi hesitated for two seconds. Still do it. It's quite courageous. The elder of the Zhang family looked at Lu Chen and sighed. It's a pity that you provoked someone you shouldn't have provoked, and the matter is now irresolvable. Just a genius from Acropolis. To die is to die. As long as the relationship between the monster clan and Daxia can be maintained and it does not affect the battlefield outside the territory, it will be fine. But at this moment, Lu Chen suddenly raised his head. Look at everyone calmly. Zhang Ming, the great master of the Zhang family, Zhang Chuyang, the genius of the Zhang family, Ao Qian, the great master of the dragon clan, Ao Feng, the genius of the dragon clan. So, do you want to ask me to die to maintain that ridiculous alliance? Lu Chen shook his head. If the ancestor of your Zhang family saw this scene, he would be very sad. But it's okay, I will replace that ancestor. Teach some unworthy descendants a lesson. Just when Zhang Ming was furious and ready to take action directly. Suddenly, the hairs on his body broke out. A chill rose from the soles of the feet and went straight to the Tianling cap. That kind of horror. 
It made every cell in his body tremble, and he felt that if he dared to move again, he would disappear immediately. It's not just him. The same is true for Ao Gan, the great master of the dragon clan next to him. The two people stood there, not daring to move, with fear in their eyes. Because in Lu Chen's hands, holding an amber crystal, inside the transparent crystal, a soft crescent moon can be clearly seen. Suppress the moon stone. Zhang Ming's soul came out, and he said tremblingly, You, you. He was trembling and couldn't say a word. Moonstone. Only the one from Wenxin Pavilion has it. Her ultimate sword is sealed inside. Once released, let alone a great master, even if he were two realms stronger, he would definitely die. Zhang Ming wailed in his heart. How could he provoke such crazy criticism from the Ba Tian society? It stands to reason that as the elder of the Zhang family, he is very aware of the various forces within the main base. Which ones can be suppressed, which ones need to be coaxed, and which ones need to be considered. Only Ba Tian will. That's a shit stick. With the support of a terrifying mad woman, the people in the association are always acting recklessly and often do not take the Zhang family into consideration. There will be conflicts with Ba Tian, and it is impossible to rely on coercion. You can only be reasonable. If it doesn't make sense, then we have to let it go. Because the purpose of Ba Tianwei is, understand your thoughts and stop killing by killing. If you dare not give in, you will definitely start a fight, and in the end you will be defeated. How can this kid be a member of the tyrant society? Moreover, something like the moon suppressing stone cannot be made easily. The crazy woman only has a few pieces, and they are all in the hands of her personal disciple etc. Something suddenly occurred to Zhang Ming's confused mind. Not long ago, he heard that Chu Yuanlong of the Tyrant Society had accepted an apprentice in Linkang City. What is it called? Lu Chen. But how could Chu Yuanlong's apprentice have something given by that crazy woman? This is even more impossible. After all, that one hasn't accepted a disciple for 300 years. The prodigy who once had 3s level talents and also had top level swordsmanship talents wanted to become his disciple, but he was rejected outright. Is he just Lu Chen? Zhang Ming's mind was completely confused, and he couldn't think clearly at all. And this time, Lu Chen held the moon suppressing stone in his hand, but he looked at Ao Feng and said calmly, it's the same sentence. Go over and kneel down to apologize to my friend. Ao Feng's face turned pale. Gritting his teeth, he looked at his fifth uncle Ao Qian as if asking for help. But the latter's eyes were fixed on Lu Chen, his eyes were faint, as if he wanted to explore something. As the Grand Master of the East China Sea Dragon Clan, he has never been threatened like this. Suppressing the fear in his heart, his face returned to calmness again, and he said gloomily, it turns out that he is the old witch. He is really destined. The word, destined, almost came out of his mouth. Two hundred years ago. The then eldest prince of the East China Sea Dragon Clan was beheaded. It was exactly what the Ba Tianwei guy did. After that incident, a shocking war was triggered, and the subsequent results are unknown. But Ba Tianwei is safe and sound, and the East China Sea Dragon Clan's amazing revenge has also come to an end. Did you know that if you activate the Moon Suppressing Stone, you will become a sinner of Daxia for all eternity? Ao Qian said calmly, This matter is not big to begin with. It is just a dispute of temperament. How about it ending here? Thinking of that crazy woman, he was still frightened. Zhang Ming, the elder of the Zhang family, knew it, and he naturally knew it too. The young man in front of me is most likely that person's direct disciple. It is impossible to press any more. We can only leave it at that. As for the back, once inside the Tianjiao camp, you can't rely on external forces, you have to rely on your own abilities. He, the dragon clan Tianzhao, has plenty of opportunities to take revenge. Eternal sinner, what does it have to do with me? Unexpectedly, Lu Chen shook his head, sneered, and said those words for the third time, Ao Feng, let me say it for the last time, go over and apologize to my friend. The surrounding void seemed frozen. The tens of thousands of people watching were all frightened and afraid to vent their anger. How brave, you're looking for death. As Ao Feng's protector and a powerful master, how could Ao Gan bow his head so easily? He shouted and took a step forward. Reach out. He didn't believe that a boy of 17 or 18 would risk his life. If the moonstone really inspires, 
die here yourself. As a result, Lu Chen will definitely die, and no one can protect him. He is gambling. Bet that Lu Chen was deceiving him. However, just as he stretched his hand halfway, his whole body froze. The moon suppressing stone in Lu Chen's hand glowed silver. Already in critical condition, a trace of unparalleled sword energy escaped from it. Within a few hundred meters of the surrounding area, the temperature dropped sharply, and everyone's hair was on fire. Go on. Lu Chen looked at Ao Gan expressionlessly, with a hint of sarcasm in his eyes, you can try again and see if I dare. Ao Gan looks ferocious, staring at Lu Chen's face, breathing heavily. After a few breaths, he shouted unwillingly, Ao Feng, kneel down, apologize. At the same time, just as the moon suppressing stone in Lu Chen's hand was emitting a faint moonlight and was in a critical state. In the Hard Wen Pavilion, in the small world, in the central square of the village, the big peach tree with lush branches and leaves was falling. The mahjong table under the tree trunk was in full swing. The white-haired woman with black satin covering her eyes was holding the cards in her hand and was about to play, but suddenly stopped. The other three charming women were about to urge, and the expressions on their faces all changed slightly. The breath of the moon suppressing stone. And it's inside the base. One of them said softly with a slight look of doubt. Three eyes immediately looked at the white-haired woman. The latter smiled and said lightly, What's there to be nervous about? They are all small scenes. Well, since you are worried, then take a look. As she said, she put the cards down. She stretched out her white jade-like fingers and lightly tapped the void. The situation over at Xingyufeng suddenly appeared in front of her like a projection. Watching Lu Chen, with a sarcastic expression, subduing the Grand Master of the East China Sea Dragon Clan. Watching the Dragon Clan's pride, he walked to Sun Qi with a heavy burden on his back, his face twisted, his eyes extremely unwilling, but he had to obey the arrangement and kneel down, and apologized word by word. The white-haired woman's mouth curled up a smile. But pretending to be displeased, she said, This little fool has no courage at all, he only knows how to bluff, pretend to be powerful, and just scare. Why not just use the moon suppressing stone directly? It's not like it can't be contained. Three poker friends at the table. All of them had complicated eyes, remained silent, and their eyes jumped. The master was called a crazy woman outside. Now that he has accepted an apprentice, it seems to be the same. Look at Lu Chen's look. As long as Ao Gan moves again, he really dares to use it. In the main base of the Jiangnan War Zone, someone dares to use something like the moon suppressing stone. Is this what an ordinary lunatic would do? That's the ultimate sword of the moon demon. If this is triggered, it will definitely cause a horrible shock to the top leaders of the entire war zone. And the subsequent impact is unimaginable. Just these thoughts emerged. Even though the three of them had extremely strong cultivation, they were all terrified. In the tyrant club, is there going to be another ultimate troublemaker? At this time, the white-haired woman closed the void projection and played the previous cards. A fellow player was about to say that he had won. In his ear, he heard someone muttering. Give him the moonstone, it's not for deterrence, can't he get it after it's used up? Alas, my disciples, none of them are like me. Seemingly noticing something wrong with her fellow player, she asked in confusion, Xiaoyanzi, are you going to win? Why are you hesitant to say it? If you want to win, then win. I'm in a good mood today and have enough money, so I can afford to lose. The woman called Xiaoyanzi had a slightly stiff expression. Still pretending to be calm and smiling, Ah, no, I haven't heard the cards yet. Deep in the Jiangnan Martial Arts Academy, in the pavilion with birds singing and flowers blooming, an old man and a young man are playing chess. On the chessboard, the black and white dragons are in a state of strangling each other, each with its own advantages and disadvantages, and it is difficult to distinguish. Seeing that there are fewer and fewer places to place the pieces, both of them frowned, and put all their energy into trying to find the flaws of the other party. Just when the purple-robed old man tried his best to find an excellent point and was about to place the piece, his action suddenly stopped. The sword energy of that woman. No, is it the moon suppressing stone? The purple-robed old man's expression changed slightly, and he said hurriedly, Are the people of the tyrant society crazy? In this main base, they dare to use the moon suppressing stone. After he finished speaking, he was ready to get up and go directly. 
but suddenly found that the white-robed boy opposite was as still as a mountain, still staring at the chessboard. Old Yang, that's the moon suppressing stone. The purple-robed old man said anxiously. If things go wrong, there will be another big mess. The people from the tyrant society are really troublemakers. He looked at the white-robed young man. In terms of address, they are equals. Don't worry, don't worry, let's finish the game first. The young man in a white robe, called Old Yang, said calmly, what can you do if you go there now? If the moon suppressing stone is used, people will definitely die. In this situation, there is no point in going early. If it is not completely activated, there is no need to rush. Come on, play chess, play chess. Hearing this, the purple-robed old man was stunned for a moment, and after thinking carefully, it was really like this. He smiled bitterly and shook his head, and finally sat down. But in this situation, I don't know what the situation outside is like. How can I still think about making a move? Seeing the indifference on the face of the young man in white robe, he suddenly said unhappily, Old Yang, you are the leader of Jiangnan War Zone. Are you really not worried at all? If you ask me, those idiots in tyrant society should be punished. If they continue like this, those troublemakers may cause a big trouble. The young man in white robe shook his head. His eyes finally moved away from the chessboard and fell on his old friend in front of him. After smiling, he pointed his finger at himself and then at the other party. I am in charge of Jiangnan War Zone, and you are the president of Jiangnan Martial Academy. What do you think of our strength? The old man in purple was puzzled. After frowning and thinking for a while, he replied in a deep voice, It goes without saying that you and I are both one of the strongest people in the world, there is no doubt about it. The young man in white robe smiled and said, What if we include the second generation ancestor of the Zhang family? If the three of us join forces, the old man in purple shirt said loudly, to put it exaggeratedly, you can even seal the border and split the land, and you can start a clan and become an ancestor. Everything in the world can be taken. That's right, the young man in white robe smiled while stroking his palms. He dropped a ball first, and then continued, but the three of us working together can't beat that crazy woman. He stood up, looking at the blue water pool in the distance and the rockery and strange flowers. After a few breaths of silence, a sighing voice floated over. You, it's been a hundred years since you were transferred from the capital. You can try to think about it. Although the people of Ba Tien Wei are recognized as troublemakers, they are arrogant, domineering, unscrupulous, and do whatever they want. But think about it carefully. Have they done anything out of line in the past hundreds of years? Without waiting for an answer, the boy in white robe shook his head and said to himself, No. Not even one thing. Even if there are some who seem to be out of line, they are all out of righteousness and asking for orders for the people. But they don't bother to speak out, allowing the Zhang family to spread rumors at will, and allowing themselves to become a troublemaker in the eyes of everyone. Just like 200 years ago, that crazy woman killed the Dragon Clan's eldest prince. Do you know the reason for this? Talk about it. The old man in purple shirt also has a little knowledge. Although his cultivation level is extremely high. But after all, he was transferred from Beijing. Many M.I. Shin didn't know and quickly took the opportunity to ask, why? Dragon nature is so lascivious. The prince's stay in the East China Sea was boring. He turned into a human and came to the south of the Yangtze River to do mischief and ruin the innocence and lives of many women. But, at that time, I didn't dare to make a difference. The second-generation ancestor of the Zhang family also didn't dare. Because the dragon clan was powerful at the time and Zhangnan needed them. You also know what happens next. What happens next? The old man in purple clothes was stunned for a moment, then suddenly turned around and remembered that battle. The eldest prince of the dragon clan was beheaded by that crazy woman. By the way, they also killed themselves inside the East China Sea Dragon Palace. For a while, all kinds of emotions surged in his heart. Although I was transferred from the capital, I have been in charge of the Jiangnan Martial Arts Academy for so long, and I can see a lot of things. The old man in purple shirt pointed out something. As the local emperor of Jiangnan, the Zhang family has long been unable to tolerate the Ba Tian society. They will definitely find a way to deal with it, right? Right, the young man in white robe nodded. How can we allow others to sleep soundly beside the bed? 
The Zhang family will definitely take action, and they have been taking action. Ah, ha ha ha, your expression is really interesting. Haven't you noticed that the tyrant society has been around for almost a hundred years and there are no new members? Lao Yang, what you mean is that, the Zhang family is taking money from the bottom of the cauldron and cutting it off. The old man in purple shirt frowned and said, but I heard that the young man Chu Yuanlong brought back has been taken over by that crazy woman as his disciple. So, that Lu Chen will be the one who must be eliminated by the Zhang family. The young man in white said something, suddenly opened his arms and stepped into the drizzle, when you arrive at the Tianjiao camp, you can't rely on external objects or external forces. Until then, the Zhang family has a lot of means at their disposal. Not to mention, that little guy named Lu Chen completely offended the dragon clan to death. This is more interesting, although he has always been obsessed with chess games. But he clearly knew what was going on outside. The old man in purple shirt came back to his senses and shook his head, too lazy to think about it. As a person transferred from the capital, he didn't want to involve too much. Looking down at the chess game, the expression on his face changed drastically. After I just lost a piece, I thought I was sure of victory. But before the young man in white clothes stood up, he was calm and indifferent, but he inadvertently locked himself completely. Jongnan Martial Arts Academy, in the villa area. Besides himself, there were two other people in Chu Yuanlong's room. One was Mr. Ma Jingyang, who had brought Lu Chenchai's talent before. He was holding a teacup and tasting it with enjoyment. And the other person, his hair and beard are red, and he carries a sword wider than his body on his back. It was Li Baogang who rushed to the rescue not long ago. After rushing to the valley at that time, he saw that everyone was safe and sound except for the green song Kaifeng. Although my heart is at peace. But the murderous intention was not released, which made him very unhappy. So he traveled around and destroyed many hiding places of the ancient god church. After killing a lot of people, I finally felt comfortable. No, I just came back from outside, and I still have the pungent smell of blood on my body. At this time, this tyrannical old man was chewing fruit. Listening to Chu Yuanlong and Ma Jingyang talking about some recent events, naturally they revolved around Lu Chen. Quote dot 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 quote. What? Three colors and one gold. After Li Baogang heard the results of the talent test, he stood up in surprise. The fruit in his hand was crushed into a paste by inadvertent force. He is also a member of the Ba Tian society. And in terms of seniority, he is a little higher than Ma Jingyang. These core secrets are naturally qualified to know. After his mind calmed down for a while, he said to himself, when I rushed to the valley, I knew that this kid was not simple, but I didn't expect that he was hiding so deeply. And, the stronghold of the Church of the Ancient God is guarded by a sword bearer named Wu Kang. That guy is not weak. Liu Chen said that before he fainted, he saw a woman in a red dress fighting with Wu Kang. Quote, I was too lazy to investigate carefully at the time. After sending the students away, I went back to investigate. Speaking of which, Li Baogang paused in his words, looked at the two people in front of him, and said with an incomprehensible expression, there is something hidden in what Mr. Lu said. There was silence in the living room. Chu Yuanlong frowned, his eyes focused, and he stood up and asked, Uncle Li, what do you mean by this? Xiaochen didn't know you at the time, so isn't it normal to hide something? When did our Ba Tian club start to doubt our fellow disciples? What's more, Xiaochen is now master's personal disciple, one level higher than you. Ma Jingyang was beside him, and he couldn't laugh or cry either. Why did these two people get into a fight? Never mind. I'm too lazy to take care of you, so I love you. Anyway, within the Ba Tian club, it is also advocated to say what you have to say, no need to hide it, just say it. If there is a conflict, just suppress it to the same level and have a fight. He held the teacup and observed the words and expressions. Suddenly, he saw Li Baogang with a strange look on his face, glaring at him and saying, Xiao Chu, what are you thinking about? Xiao Chen has already walked in front of the master, and she must be a good boy after being slapped by her. I just, speaking of this, Li Baogang looked a little embarrassed. But he continued, I just think that Xiao Chen must have seen the true appearance of the woman in the red dress, and even got to know her. I don't want to think about it, I just think. Puff, 
Ma Jingyang squirted out a sip of tea, slapped the table and laughed. Senior brother, could it be that you want Xiao Chen to introduce me to you? Chu Yuanlong also looked strange. The corners of his mouth twitched, feeling that it was a bit nonsense. But seeing Li Baogang's expression and hearing Ma Jingyang's words, it felt like it was true for a moment. Right, Li Baogang risked his life and said seriously, I have been single for more than 300 years. I have two major hobbies in my life. First, I like red things. He pointed at himself. The lion-like hair is red, and the messy beard is also red. Ah this, Chu Yuanlong's eyes widened, is this something a grandmaster like me can listen to? Second, I like killing people. Li Baogang knocked the big sword on his back and continued, and I use my board to beat the opponent to pieces and crush him. So what? Chu Yuanlong blinked, looking forward to the follow-up. Although he is a member of the tyrant society, his cultivation level is too low. He is a little kalami, and he dare not ask his uncle such a question. At this time, Ma Jingyang came over. He couldn't help laughing and said, So, the woman Xiao Chen mentioned was wearing a red dress, and maybe she also likes the color red. And as you just said, Wu Kang of the ancient god church was beaten to pieces, and his body was broken into countless pieces. My head was taken away. Hear it here, Chu Yuanlong suddenly understood. He couldn't help but clapped his hands and sighed, this is fate. The woman in the red dress has the same preferences as Uncle Lee, so Uncle Lee wants to get acquainted. He saw two people looking towards him. Chu Yuanlong coughed twice quickly, waved his hands and sat on the sofa, reducing his presence. But his ears were perked up, eavesdropping on the gossip. Good, Li Baogang said proudly. What's wrong with me getting to know such heroes among women? What else does he want to say? But suddenly I felt a familiar sword intent. Moon suppressing stone, which senior brother used the moon suppressing stone at the main base. There was silence in the living room for a few moments. Chu Yuanlong jumped up suddenly, Xiao Chen. It's Xiao Chen, he just got the moon suppressing stone given by his master. No, something happened to him. Saying that, run out immediately. Just as the body reached the door, a big hand grabbed it back. In my ears, I heard Li Baogang shouting, you are too slow. Banban, give me a big. The big sword behind him immediately flew out and grew larger in an instant. He grabbed someone with one hand and jumped on. Many students in the Jungnan Martial Arts Academy only felt a flash of sword light above their heads but could not find anything. Within the main base, no flying is allowed without special permission. There is also a hidden text in this regulation, except for the ship troublemakers of the Tyrant Club. In an emergency anyway. Those crazy critics will not comply either. Xingyufang, free trading zone. The atmosphere at the scene has dropped to freezing point. Ao Gan, the great master of the Dragon Clan, suppressed his unparalleled anger and stared at Lu Chen who was just one step away. Not far away, Ao Feng, the prodigy of the Dragon Clan, knelt on the ground and apologized to Sun Qi through gritted teeth. Although the latter was looked at with murderous eyes. But somehow, deep down in my heart, there was no fear. Maybe with Lu Chen here, he already instinctively feels safe. The crown prince of the East China Sea Dragon Clan, the top genius, is kneeling in front of me to apologize. Sun Qi would never dare to dream of such a thing. If it were my former self. At this time, I must be extremely scared. Whether it was a gap in status or talent, he would not have the courage to continue standing. But now, he just looked at Ao Feng expressionlessly. Sun Qi knows. I can't embarrass Lu Chen. Looking at Ao Feng, especially those eyes full of murderous intent. He looked at it very carefully. He also knew that if the other party wanted to kill him, he would definitely take action. But not now. That's enough. Let's talk about what happens next. Brother Fu, Lu Chen's calm voice came over. This matter is settled like this, what do you think? Sun Qi nodded and said with a bright smile on his face, Hey. It all depends on you. Brother Lu. No one knows. He was roaring in his heart. Become stronger, become stronger. Okay. Lu Chen looked away from Sun Qi's face, then looked at Ao Gan in front of him, and said with a smile, You guys. The words are not finished yet. A scream sounded. Lu Chen felt his eyes go dark, and when he looked up, he saw a shadow casting down his face. Sound familiar, etc. Isn't this the plank of senior Li Baogang? 
finish, what's the end, it's over. Li Baogang, who had red beard and hair, was the first to jump down. After glancing around, a ferocious look appeared on his face. Following closely behind were Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong. At this time, Ma Jingyang suddenly shouted, Senior brother Li, hold your hands, don't kill people. Question mark. Liu Chen blinked. What's going on? I haven't reacted yet. He saw Li Baogang rushing over directly, and an aura that was a hundred times more terrifying than Ao Gan, the great master of the dragon clan, swept out. Crack, crack, two loud slaps, like thunder exploding. The intensity is so powerful that it makes people shudder. At the same time, the two figures were also knocked into the air and hit the ground hard. It is Ao Feng, the genius of the East China Sea Dragon Clan, and Zhang Chuyang, the genius of the Zhang family. Both of their heads were swollen and they could still be identified by their clothes. What are you doing? Li Balton, my Zhang family. Zhang Ming, the elder of the Zhang family, was about to say anything when he was punched in the chest and slapped on the face. He was picked up again by hands as big as cattail leaf fans. With a huge force, it slammed into the ground, sinking deeply, and there was no sound anymore. It's your turn. Ao Gan from the Dragon Clan, right? You are very cool. Where is the junior uncle who bullied me? Li Baogang, with his red beard and hair, looks like a devil. Cold sweat suddenly broke out on Ao Gan's forehead, which was locked, don't force me to do it. Oh, how dare you take action in front of me? Come on, let's try it. Li Baogang roared. If you take action, I am just acting in self-defense. There is nothing wrong with beating you to death. If you don't take action, I can only vent my anger. Liu Chen was stunned. These words, there seems to be nothing wrong with it. His eyes jumped as he watched Li Baogang rush to Ao Gan and begin to abuse him unilaterally. Compared to this scene now, last time at the testing center, Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong beat master and apprentice Liping violently. They were so gentle. Is this the organization you joined? Love it, love it. A few minutes later, Li Balton, covered in blood, clapped his hands and walked up to Lu Chen. Xiao Chen, you don't have to be so cautious. Remember, our Ba Tian club has always bullied others and will never be bullied by others. If you can't beat them, just shake them. Even if the sky falls, master, she will hold you back. After he finished speaking seriously, he held Lu Chen in his big hands. Like an eagle grabbing a chicken, he said happily, let's go. Let's go back. We, Lao Li, have a favor, and I need your help, little uncle. Hear this. Chu Yuanlong's Bagua fire was ignited again. I wonder if Uncle Li Baogang can meet the woman in the red dress. He walked to the other side. He took Sun Qi, Lin Sheui, and Huang Linglin with him and boarded the board together. As the plank fell, the group of people entered directly into the Zhongnan Wuyuan villa area. After the three of them said hello, Sun Qi left on their own. After all, it would be very uncomfortable to stay here. Regardless of status or strength, they look out of place here. Although like Lu Chen, both will be admitted to the Zhongnan Martial Arts Academy and will also participate in the Tianjiao camp trial. After all, there are differences between people. There is an existence like Ba Tianwei. In Sun Qi's mind, he is no different from a legend. But Lu Chen, who also came from Lin Kang City, has already joined them. And, I also had an extremely great master. This kind of contrast and contrast made him feel mixed, heavy and confused. The same is true for Lin Sheyui. After experiencing this, they suddenly realized that they and Lu Chen seemed to be drifting apart. Qi, Qi Qi, where are we going now? After coming out of the villa area, Huang Linglin seemed to feel that the atmosphere was too oppressive and asked softly. Go practice, Sun Qi said, looking back at the way he came, and murmured, I just want to become stronger now. I can accept it no matter what the price. Then I'll come with you. I'll practice too. Although she didn't quite understand the weight of this sentence, Huang Linglin still replied. Okay, later, my great-grandfather and the others will also arrive at the main base. Let's go over and have a meal together. Ah, are you going to meet your parents now? Huang Linglin looked a little panicked. Sun Qi smiled and said nothing more. Instead, he turned to look at Lin Sheyui and said seriously, Squad leader Lin, I will not fall behind. I don't want to be left behind either. 
he added silently in his mind. After seeing such a vast world with Lu Chen, he no longer wanted to be like Lin Kang City, just hanging around day by day. Even if you can't become the protagonist, at least, he can cast his own shadow in the afterglow of that spotlight. That's enough, Sun Qi said that he was very satisfied. When Ao Feng, the prodigy of the Dragon Clan, knelt in front of him, his murderous eyes were deeply imprinted in his mind, and he could not get rid of them. Whenever it comes up, Sun Qi felt that he could not slack off. At this moment, Lin Shaoyi took a deep look at him and replied, Come on, Brother Fu. The expression on Sun Qi's face was awkward. This title was always called by Lu Chen. Now that I heard it from Lin Shaoyi, I always felt something was wrong, like, ah, right, right, right. Of course, there is no malicious intent. He wanted to say something more, but saw that the figure had left alone. Lin Shaoyi took a few steps, and a soft voice floated over, I hope that one day, we can all fight side by side with Lu Chen. Thoughts in her mind. It seemed as if he was sitting next to Lu Chen after setting off from Lin Kang City. That was the closest time. At that time, I even gave him cakes made by myself. Jongnan Martial Arts Academy, Villa Area. It was still in Chu Yuanlong's living room. After listening to Li Baogang's request, Lu Chen was a little confused. Blinking his eyes, he asked tentatively, Master Ba, if I understand you correctly, do you think I know the woman in the red dress and want to get to know her through me? What the hell is this? Lu Chen was stunned. After the battle in the valley, Li Baogang suddenly came over, and he excused himself with a random excuse. Where is the woman in the red dress? The ones who beat Wu Kang to death from the Church of Ancient Gods were clearly his own bugs. They were indeed reduced to pieces under the two waves of bombings. As for the head, where did it disappear? It was eaten clean by the red frost. The woman in the red dress is just what I associate with Hongshuang. That's it, he actually got the big boss Li Baogang to take notice of him. Lu Chen's mind was numb. In front of me, I saw Li Baogang nodding seriously and saying, yes. I have a fate with that woman in the red dress, and I hope my junior uncle will make it happen. Question mark question mark question mark. The corner of Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and he felt like his brain was short-circuited. Ma Jingyang and Chu Yuanlong next to them both had piercing eyes, suppressing laughter and turning red in the face. In the sea of soul consciousness, Hong Shuang was rolling and howling crazily inside. Master, I can't do it anymore. I'm going to die laughing. Master, just say that the woman in the red dress only loves you, and has no interest in anyone else. Quote dot 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 quote. Kai, second the proposal. Shaolin, plus one. These two little guys also came out to join in the fun. Is it true that gossip does not differentiate between species? Listening to the group chat, in their minds, the three insects seemed to have found a common topic and started chatting seriously. Lu Chen felt like his head was getting big. After blocking the message, he coughed dryly and said in embarrassment, Master 8, you really think highly of me. I didn't even see the real face of the woman in the red dress, she was knocked unconscious by the aftermath of the battle, and I don't know anything. I see, you thought I was hiding something, but that's not the case. After Lu Chen finished speaking with a wry smile. Then he looked at Chu Yuanlong and Ma Jingyang who were watching the excitement, and continued, I found a blood pool in the underground stronghold of the ancient god church. Hurry up and take your time. Just after absorbing this thing, you came behind me and scared me. Hear the message in his words. Li Baogang's expression suddenly became solemn. After thinking for a while, he didn't speak, but looked at Chu Yuanlong next to him even if they are all from the tyrant society. But there will also be differences between closeness and distance. He can ask some questions, but it is better to leave them to the most suitable person. And the one who has the closest relationship with Lu Chen. Undoubtedly Chu Yuanlong. Xiao Chen. Chu Yuanlong took a step forward and asked in a deep voice, you just said that the blood pool established by Wu Kang was absorbed by you. Is that true? Looking at the young man in front of him, Chu Yuanlong told a story from the past. The martial arts era is nearly 600 years old. Whether it is the techniques obtained from various secret realms or created by the powerful ancestors. Those who rely on swallowing huge amounts of blood can definitely be called an evil path. 
The most notorious one is the Church of Ancient Gods. According to some controlled information, in order to allow believers to quickly improve their realm, they have created many, evil arts, most of which are related to swallowing blood. Fifty years ago, the battle to annihilate the Church of the Ancient God. The entire Jiangnan war zone has invested a lot of money. In addition to many masters and grandmasters, there are even powerful experts from Wenxin Pavilion participating. Two of the three leaders of the ancient god church were beheaded. There is one left. He was also injured and fled into the sea of grey mist. And the reason for this incident was because the talent possessed by the holy son of the ancient god church was extremely compatible with those evil arts. As long as you swallow the blood of a warrior, you can improve your realm. Later, they even started massacring the city. After this news was exposed, Jiangnan was instantly shaken and began to eliminate the ancient god church, especially the holy sun. But the more experts are sent to chase him, the stronger the opponent becomes. Use war to support war. That person's realm started from being a grandmaster and rose all the way up, and he didn't even reach the end yet. In the end, it was the powerful man from Wenxin Pavilion who took action and killed him. After a brief explanation, Chu Yuanlong continued, that man is a forbidden warrior. After he was killed, Jiangnan also banned the corresponding techniques. All practitioners are heretics. Xiao Chen, tell Uncle Chu honestly, are you practicing? Don't worry, even if it is true, our master has a way to help you clean up your foundation and rebuild your foundation. Inside the living room, it suddenly became quiet. The faces of Chu Yuanlong, Ma Jingyang, and Li Baogang were all very nervous. This is no small matter. Once Lu Chen has practiced those evil arts, there will definitely be marks on his body, and it will be a matter of time before he is discovered. Not to mention entering the Tianjiao camp. Whether it can be guaranteed without fail is a question. Although the tyrant society is tyrannical, there are some things that cannot be exceeded, otherwise they will suffer backlash. Look at the expressions of the three people. Lu Chen blinked his eyes and said weakly, Uncle Chu, what you said is really scary. Okay, I'll confess. Seeing that Chu Yuanlong's breathing seemed to be stagnant, he didn't say much, directly instruct Queen Hongshuang in her heart. Stretching out his right hand, a ball of flame that was red on the outside and black on the inside appeared on the palm of his hand. Uncle Chu, Master Ma, Master Eight. You three all know that my talents are three colors and one gold, one of which is the fire element, but you haven't seen my flames yet. That blood pool was absorbed by the flames. Said. He also got up from the sofa. The, nine nether tribulation fire, turned into red frost was displayed in front of the three people. Lu Chen had already thought about this matter, so he just took the opportunity to talk about it. First. Let the flames turn from the red frost appear and see if any clues can be discovered. After all, they will definitely use it when they get to Tianjiao camp later. Second, it is also the most important point. Earlier, Lu Chen had been thinking. If you want to rely on the resources of Tianjiao camp to breed blood-devouring worms, how can you justifiably get the corpse of the beast? Now, here's the answer. Seeing the three of them looking at their own flames carefully, Lu Chen continued. In the beginning, my flames were not like this, they were almost like ordinary small flames. I discovered later that my flames could evolve themselves after burning the corpses of ferocious beasts. It has evolved approximately four times to its current form. After finishing speaking, he suddenly noticed that there was a hint of fanaticism on the faces of Ma Jingyang and Li Baogang. Before Lu Chen could ask questions, Chu Yuanlong was ahead and asked in confusion. Master Ma, Master Eight, what's going on? Your expressions. Li Balton was unmoved. His eyes were staring straight at the Nine Nether Tribulation Fire, as if he was admiring a rare treasure. Mr. Ma was still kind and explained with palpitations. Xiaochen's fire talent is SSS level, you know this, but his flames can still evolve. Xiao Chu, do you know what this concept is? Ma Jingyang suddenly turned his head, danced and said, the SSS level that can be evolved, which is the legendary, limit-breaking level. As soon as these words came out, Chu Yuanlong was stunned. He originally thought that the talent of three colors and one gold was the ultimate shock that Lu Chen brought to him. But I never expected it. Is there something more explosive later? Realizing that Uncle Chu was holding his chest, Lu Chen quickly helped him sit on the sofa. 
That strange word came to mind. He blinked and blinked, but he didn't expect that it would trigger such a big battle. At this time, Li Baogang seemed to be waking up from a dream. His eager eyes finally moved away from the Nine Nether Tribulation fire, and solemnly said, I have lived for so many years, and I have once seen the flame of an SSS level fire awakener. But compared to Xiaochen, that senior is far behind. One is just pure fire, but Xiaochen seems to have spirituality. It's incredible. His eyes once again fell on the Nine Nether Tribulation fire, which was red on the outside and black on the inside. There seemed to be a strange confusion in his eyes, and his voice became strangely gentle. Look at the red color on the outer layer of the flame, how moving it is. And, I also smelled the ultimate smell of blood. Having said this, he suddenly leaned over and sniffed hard, yes, it's the ultimate bloody smell. It's really intoxicating. Mr. Li Baogang has two major hobbies in his life. First, red. Therefore, the beard and hair are all red. Second, kill. Use a board to make it look like it's broken into pieces, because you can see the blood flowers blooming. Lu Chen suddenly shuddered when he thought of this. This, the, nine nether tribulation fire, turned into red frost seems to be satisfying. As the original mother worm of the blood-eating worm, Master Ba smelled the, extreme smell of blood, and there seemed to be nothing wrong with it. It's just the old man's look that's not quite right. From the woman in the red dress to the, nine nether tribulation fire, it looks like a silky transition. And by mistake, it's all red frost. Lu Chen quietly took a step back without leaving any trace, and distanced himself from Master Ba. Chu Yuanlong also spoke at the right time. So, the blood pool of Wu Kang of the ancient god church was swallowed up by your flames. Right, Lu Chen nodded and replied. It was during that devouring that my flame evolved from the Red Lotus Hell Fire, to the Nine Nether Tribulation Fire, and its intensity also increased a lot. Chu Yuanlong stood up and planned to touch it with his hand. Lu Chen quickly said, Uncle Chu, my fire is extraordinary, you may not be able to control it. Chu Yuanlong glared at him and said proudly, Uncle Chu and I are also at the ninth level of the Grand Master. Even though we are not as good as Master Ba and Master Ma, it is still easy to test the depth of your flames. Lu Chen hesitated, looking at Chu Yuanlong like this, is he not going to use his spiritual power and just use his physical body to carry the fire? Never mind. The physical defense of the Ninth Grand Master is probably also extremely terrifying. Lu Chen looked at it quietly with curiosity on his face. Chu Yuanlong stretched out a finger and inserted it into the flames as if nothing had happened. Stab. In the living room, a slight explosion suddenly echoed. The expression on Chu Yuanlong's face suddenly changed, and thin beads of cold sweat could be faintly seen on his forehead. He looked at the three people nearby who were watching. He wanted to hold on for a few seconds, but he couldn't stand it. In less than two seconds, he quickly retracted his fingers. There's something about this fire. With the power of lightning, Chu Yuanlong put his hands behind his back and pointed like an expert. Not only will it burn the physical body, but it will also have a certain attack on the soul. It is worthy of breaking the limit. The words are not finished yet. His right hand was pulled up by Li Baogang, why are you hiding and hiding? Why don't you support yourself and not let others see you? Only then did Lu Chen see it. Uncle Chu's index finger turned completely black. There are still flames that appear from time to time, but are extinguished by spiritual power. Chu Yuanlong was so embarrassed after being slapped in the face in public. Especially when he saw Lu Chen's weird expression, he wanted to find a hole in the ground and crawl into it. After a few seconds of silence, then he shook his head with a wry smile and said, Well, I'm the one who's too big. If you don't use your spiritual power, my grandmaster's ninth level physical defense can only support ten breaths at most, and he will be severely damaged. And this is not the most important thing. No wonder Xiaochen's flame is called the Nine Nether Tribulation Fire. It not only attacks the soul, but also has a terrifying attachment effect that is difficult to remove. The time has come now. On his finger, the flame finally stopped coming out. It's just that the remaining burn scars are not so easy to remove. Certainly. In other words, although Lu Chen's Nine Nether Tribulation Fire is powerful, with his master level cultivation, if he uses his spiritual power, he can carry out effective defense. 
unless you are like Grandmaster Song Kaifeng. Being tricked. Xiao Chen, if you keep this trump card, it will definitely work wonders. After Chu Yuanlong finished speaking, he warned, I know your temper. In short, you must remember one sentence. He looked into Lu Chen's eyes. He continued solemnly, No matter how strong your cards are, never fight with the Grand Master. Under the Grand Master, all are ants. These words are not false words. Ma Jingyang next to him also nodded and said, In the 600th year of the martial arts era, there are no more than 10 people who can be upright and use the sky control realm to defeat the master. Among them, eight have died. Lu Chen was stunned. He asked curiously, does this mean that two more people succeeded? Although he has already killed the Grand Master. But in that battle, they relied entirely on sneak attacks to achieve the final victory in a narrow and narrow way. If there is a slight mistake, you will die. Certainly. At that time, Lu Chen had a limited number of insect cubs, so he had to keep some for seeding, and he had to be careful when using them. It's different now. There are more than 6.3 million blood-eating worms. Even if they are fighting openly and openly, they can be piled up to death, right? Even so, he would definitely not do this. After entering the Tianzhou camp, the fifth generation will be fully cultivated and can be used generously. Yes, two people succeeded. The first one is the first generation ancestor who is the winner among the eight great families. And the second one. A smile appeared on Ma Jingyang's face, that's our master. Although I vaguely guessed it. But after the idea was confirmed, Lu Chen still felt a sudden surprise in his heart. He is really curious now. How strong is my master? After taking back the red frost in the form of flame. Lu Chen is fine. Sit on the sofa and start drinking. The three seniors have already started planning how to use the rules of Tianzhou camp to get enough resources for Lu Chen. The corpse of a ferocious beast. Massive corpses of ferocious beasts. Li Baogang even said that if there was a chance, he would also build several super large blood pools for Lu Chen. When Lu Chen heard this, he was extremely surprised. But look at the old man's expression. It seems that it is more about the flame that makes him extremely obsessed. Master Ba has quite a few quirks. Lu Chen secretly warned that he must keep a distance from now on. Two hours later, a preliminary plan has been made. Mr. Ma Jingyong left first, started to implement the plan, and went to the Tianzhou camp logistics office. Another moment passed. After Li Baogang contacted several people, he also left in a hurry. Seeing the two old seniors running for him, Lu Chen silently remembered it in his heart. In the small villa, it suddenly became quiet. I'm still a bit unaccustomed to it. Chu Yuanlong did not leave, but sat next to Lu Chen and said, Xiao Chen, because the resources you need are too special, we will report your flame talent as a last resort to avoid unnecessary trouble. This news may be kept secret for the time being, but it certainly won't last long. In addition, there is one more thing, it is very important. Master Ba and Master Ma, let me tell you as you must. Lu Chen's expression became serious and he put down the teacup. He sat up straight and waited for the follow-up. I told you before that among the eight great families, the Zhang family is the local emperor of Zhongnan. Whether it is their heritage or strength, they deserve the title. And our tyrant club has always been a thorn in the side of the Zhang family. For more than a hundred years, the Zhang family has been targeting us. All kinds of overt and covert struggles are more brutal than you can imagine. Speaking of which, Chu Yuanlong's voice suddenly stopped. After a few seconds of silence, he continued, Did you know that before you, I was the last member of the Tyrant Society, but I joined a hundred and twenty years ago. Hearing this, Lu Chen was stunned for a moment. Apart from himself, Uncle Chu is actually the youngest one in the Tyrant Club. Etc. Seemingly thinking of something, he blurted out, You mean, there have been no new members of the Tyrant Society for more than a hundred years because of the obstruction of the Zhang family? Yes, they are cutting off the roots. Chu Yuanlong sighed. In the past hundred years, anyone who joined the Tyrant Society either died inexplicably or withdrew on their own. By my generation, there has been a complete break. But, we have an invincible master like our master, how dare the Zhang family do this? Xiaochen, don't judge things by appearances. Chu Yuanlong taught earnestly. Our strength is indeed very strong, 
but we are ultimately just a big tree rooted in the south of the Yangtze River, and the Zhang family is the land under countless trees of all sizes. Forget it. Many things cannot be explained in a short time. We just want to tell you that after you go to the Tianzhou camp, the Tianzhou of the Zhang family and the East China Sea Dragon Clan will definitely cause trouble for you, so be careful. Once you get there, you can only rely on yourself for everything. You can't use the moon suppressing stone, and we old guys can't support you. We can only help you seek more resources. Tianzhao camp is the stage for you young Tianzhaos, and everyone is the same, rely on yourself. Lu Chen nodded, since everyone in the Tianzhao camp is of the same generation as him. Then he really has nothing to fear. Speaking of trump cards, he really has quite a few. Red frost in the form of flames. Sky crystal protection that can resist ordinary masters. And tonight, the entire Sun family will also arrive at the main base, and another batch of black gold magnets will also arrive. The Heaven Level, Original Demon Blood Seal Method. When there are enough corpses of fierce beasts, the twelve blood orifices will soon be full, which is equivalent to twelve more Dantian. In addition to these, his apparent abilities include Earth level body skills, Yuan magnetic ability, etc. By the way, Chu Yuanlong seemed to remember something, and suddenly asked, the heaven level sword heart that the master gave you, has it been fused? Lu Chen nodded, it has been fused, and there is no change at the moment. After worshipping the master that day, he returned home to upgrade the blood seal method, and then he used the method taught to fuse the sword heart. After sensing it on himself for a long time, there was no change. He even doubted it for a while. Is that thing expired? No change is normal. Seeing the doubt in Lu Chen's heart, Chu Yuanlong smiled and said, Sword heart as a seed. It needs the right opportunity to sprout. And your opportunity will come in a few days. As the opportunity, a physical object. Yes, it is currently in the hands of one of your senior sisters. She is rushing back from outside the domain to give it to you. By the way, Chu Yuanlong said again, the sword cultivators of our lineage do not have any skills or martial arts. Everything is in that opportunity. Looking at the young man in front of him, he suddenly felt very excited. After getting the opportunity, what kind of sword path will Lu Chen walk out? Late afternoon, the sun set early, and the sky was filled with dark blue, making it look a little dim. Farther away, the blood moon loomed. Located in the Tianyuan community in the 18.5 ring of the main base, in a large villa next to the artificial lake. It was so lively with lanterns and colorful decorations. Not so long ago, the largest family in Linkang City, the Sun family, moved to the main base. The new family center is located here. Not long after Mr. Sun Junyu and others arrived, relatives and friends at the main base came over to congratulate them. Coupled with business partners, there are even more people. On the private lawn in front of the villa, there are many people, communicating in groups, each in his own circle. At the entrance farther away, Sun Chi was well-dressed and reluctantly doing the work of welcoming guests. Every time a guest came, he would record the names and souvenirs. If someone gives something valuable, he also had to speak up and down, shout loudly, and impress the distinguished guests. Not far away, Huang Linglin also changed into a formal dress, looking even brighter. From time to time, she would cast her eyes over here and flirt with Sun Qi. What she didn't expect was that her parents also came to the main base with the Sun family. Although I will go back after a few days. But it was enough to make her happy for a long time. She and Sun Qi originally planned to practice in the martial arts academy, but unexpectedly they were called over at short notice. After chatting with my parents for a few words, Huang Linglin jumped up to Sun Qi and handed him a cup of hot tea to moisten his throat. There should be no one here, right? Huang Linglin asked softly, taking the water glass in her hand. It's almost eight o'clock now, and the night is already very dark. The people who were supposed to come had already arrived. Just wait a little longer. Sun Qi smiled bitterly and said, Grandpa and Aunt haven't spoken, so I don't dare to rest. He just finished speaking. Suddenly, his eyes caught sight of a slender figure walking down the path in the distant night. After getting closer, I finally saw it clearly. Holy crap, it's Brother Lu. Surprise burst out in Sun Chi's eyes. He didn't care about anything and rushed over to greet him. 
Anyway, there aren't many people around now, so it doesn't matter. Brother Lu, you're here. When they arrived, Sun Chi said hello and asked doubtfully, didn't Grandpa say that you won't come until tomorrow? Lu Chen smiled. I don't have anything to do tonight, so I came here for a walk. The two of them chatted casually and arrived at the registration office. It seemed that Sun Chi had no intention of recording at all. Lu Chen joked, Why, do you think I didn't bring a souvenir? As he said that, he took out a brocade box and placed it on the table, I'll go in first, you open it slowly. Without waiting for Sun Chi to ask any more questions, he stepped in directly. After crossing the lawn, there is the living room of the villa, which is very spacious. There are several important guests sitting on the sofa inside. As the head of the Sun family, Mr. Sun Junyu naturally accompanied him personally. Sun Chenyun also stood quietly behind him. The two of them are the only masters of the sky control realm in the Sun family, and they also have the greatest foundation. Although there are crouching tigers and hidden dragons inside this main base. But without the Grand Master, he can definitely be considered the number one figure in the sky control realm. And Sun Junyu is the ninth level of Yukong. In a circle of the same level, it cannot be underestimated. If one day I become a master, that would be a big deal, the Sun family would definitely want chickens and dogs to ascend to heaven. At this time, Sun Junyu had a somewhat humble attitude and was talking to an old man with gray hair, discussing future business relationships. The few people nearby did not dare to interrupt, and listened patiently with their teacups in hand. Because the gray old man, named Zan Yiming, is one of the great deacons of the Jongnan War Zone Mining Association. Of course, apart from this layer of identity, his cultivation is the main reason why people are so silent. Grandmaster First Level Quote dot 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 quote. Lin Kang City is a major mineral producing city in the south of our Yangtze River, second to none. The Sun family moved here with their entire family, and they must have brought a lot of resources with them, right? I dare not talk about other things. If you want to take action in terms of minerals, leave it to us. Mining Association, guaranteed. Hearing Zan Yiming's words, the people sitting on the sofa were suddenly distracted. They picked up the teacup in unison and put it to their lips, fearing that they would be discovered if they showed something strange. In these words, there is something, but think about it, a dragon crossing the river cannot defeat a local snake. Not to mention, the Sun family's background cannot be called a dragon. Even if the first family in Lin Kang City comes to the main base, they have to stay calm and be divided up. Fat meat delivered to your door. Standing behind the sofa, Sun Chenyun's face suddenly turned cold and his fists clenched. It seemed that he sensed her changes. Zan Yiming suddenly looked up, with an indifferent look that made Sun Chenyun's whole body go cold. Grandmaster, she felt bitter in her heart and sighed secretly. In my ears, I heard Sun Junyu said with a smile without changing his expression, Mr. Zan, you are joking. How can you have any resources? The Sun family is a small family, how can those belongings be in your eyes, and... He hasn't finished speaking yet. Suddenly interrupted. I saw Zan Yiming placing the teacup heavily on the coffee table, and the crisp sound made the entire living room fall silent. He looked straight at Sun Junyu in front of him. He smiled and said, Are you kidding? When did I tell you a joke? I have received information that your Sun family spent a lot of money this time to hire the masters of the Mingyang Escort Bureau to escort them. There are hundreds of camel rhinoceroses alone to carry the ore. After a pause for a few seconds, a sarcastic smile appeared on his lips. He continued in a familiar tone. Not to mention anything else, the Wujin Magnet alone has more than 40,000 tons, right? You have almost purchased all this kind of ore around Linkang City. In addition, there are many high-quality ores, such as Dian Concentrate, Red Yang Stone, Zunfeng Stone, etc. Do you want me to tell you the quantity of each type of ore? Hearing that his old story was revealed, the expression on Sun Junyu's face also faded. Looking at Zan Yiming, after being silent for a long time, he said in a hoarse voice, Is this too much, Mr. Zan? Zan Yiming shrugged indifferently, Passed it. Where did it pass? I don't think so. Of course, there are other ways. Although Sun Junyu was furious, he still asked in a deep voice, Please tell me. It's very simple. I heard that your son family has a heaven-level inner elixir, and you are planning to find a buyer. 
why don't you give it to me, and when the time comes, sell it, and I'm sure to give the bulk of it to the Sun family. Bang. The coffee table was smashed to pieces by Sun Junyu. His eyes were beating with anger, and he said word by word, Zan Yiming, do you want to kill them all? Whether it's the black gold magnet or the inner elixir. They are all things that belong to Lu Chen. Once it is taken away, how can the Sun family have the dignity to serve Lu Chen? No, no, no. Zan Yiming shook his head, leaned back on the sofa, and said calmly, I am just telling you this on behalf of the Mining Association, not discussing it with you, do you understand? You, just as Sun Junyu was about to say something, he suddenly saw a figure walking in from the corner of his eye. Turning around to look, a joyous expression suddenly appeared on his face, Xiaochen, you're here. He just brought the whole family here. He only had a partial understanding of Lu Chen's recent situation. But from what Sun Qi said, Lu Chen seemed to have a very powerful master. It can be called powerful. He must be the grand master. Maybe we can save the Sun family. Mr. Sun, long time no see. Hey, you look very angry. Lu Chen smiled and said hello. He looked at Zan Yiming. When he just walked in, he also got a general idea. Have all these garbage mobs taken advantage of you? You are so courageous. Mining Association. If I remember correctly, there are not even third-rate forces in this main base. Brother, let let. After signaling the old man to sit down, Lu Chen patted the middle-aged man next to him. The latter was on pins and needles, but after hearing this, he quickly stood up and gave up his position. Who is this little friend? Zan Yiming looked at him carefully and did not dare to act rashly. The water in the main base is very deep. You should never act recklessly until you know a person's true identity. Otherwise, it's undoubtedly a fool's errand. I don't know how I will die. Based on his investigation of the Sun family, he basically figured it out clearly, they are really big fat sheep. Can local forces like this in the Acropolis have any strong support in this main base? Even if you spend money to hire someone, you may not be able to support the entire mining association. Anyway, Sun family, he is determined to eat. However, at this moment, Sun Chi's excited shouting suddenly sounded at the entrance outside the lawn. He finally finished unpacking the box. Welcome distinguished guests. The number one winner in the martial arts examination in Linkang City, the number one handsome guy in Linkang City, the newly recognized school idol of Jiangnan Martial Arts Academy. Lu Chen, come here, this guy is still getting back on his feet. Lu Chen's eyes jumped as he heard this. Zan Yiming, who was opposite, smiled noncommittally after hearing these titles. Who did you think it was? The top scorer in the martial arts examination in a small place, just a little chick who was just admitted to the Jiangnan Martial Arts Academy. Etc. Why does the name Lu Chen sound familiar? Before he could remember, his thoughts were interrupted. Dear guest Lu Chen, please give me the following gifts. Sun Qi's voice outside, after a pause for a few seconds, exploded again. And it's even bigger than before. It was completely yelled. Three Yuan pills, ten. A Xuanji third grade, Cloud Sea Formation. Part 8 of Xuanji Martial Arts. After these three sounds. Whether it was outside on the lawn or inside the living room, everything fell into dead silence. Some people who looked puzzled quickly understood after hearing the trembling explanations from the warriors around them. Sanyuan Dan. It has a miraculous effect on warriors in the air control realm. Although it is not as good as the level breaking pill, it can also increase the chance of breakthrough with a small probability. It is the elixir that all the sky controlling realms dream of. In the market outside, at least 30 million is the minimum price. Is this a gift of 10? So arrogant. As for the sea of clouds formation, it is generally a treasure of major aristocratic families. Its most basic ability is to gather spiritual energy, which is more suitable for practice. The rest, it can also defend against enemies, monitor without blind spots, etc. This formation, the most basic yellow level, starts at 50 million. As for the Sea of Clouds formation, of the third grade of Xuanji, no one present knew the detailed price at all, they only knew that it was an astronomical figure. Even Zan Yiming is like this. After all, his family, a grandmaster, could only use the Huang rank. As for the final 8th grade Zan level martial arts, it's not far from the ground level. 
Apart from anything else, at least for a master like Zan Yiming, his strongest technique is only the second level of Zan level. The martial arts of the eighth level of Xuanji can completely serve as the ultimate foundation of a family. It's enough to support the Sun family's transformation by several levels. It is difficult to buy on the market, and you can only try your luck at auction houses. Earlier, in Chu Yuanlong's villa, Lu Chen casually mentioned that the Sun family was relocating and would arrive at the main base tonight. By the way, he also told Uncle Chu about his relationship with the Sun family. The latter said immediately, it's definitely not a shabby place to spend the evening. People from the Ba Tianwe must show their integrity wherever they go, and they must not lose face. We should also give enough face and benefits to our affiliated forces. So, he made his own decision and immediately gave Lu Chen the three Yuan pill and cloud sea formation and asked him to bring them over as gifts. As for the 8th grade Zon level martial arts, in fact, it was the Four Seasons Reincarnation Fist that Lu Chen evolved a long time ago. He uses this martial skill less now. Moreover, if you want to improve your proficiency, you have to consume a lot of Daoyuan insect bodies, which is very cost-effective. Rather than doing this, it would be better to give it to the Sun family. After all, improving the Sun family's heritage is equivalent to improving himself. Xiaochen, your gift. After being shocked, Mr. Sun Junyu said with a wry smile, Anyway, next time you do something like this, you must tell me everything. I'm so old, I'm afraid I'll be scared to death by you. Standing behind him was Sun Chenyan. A pair of beautiful eyes looked at Lu Chen with a smile. I never thought that the godbrother I recognized at the beginning would be so capable. It seems that the master I am worshipping is probably stronger than the Grand Master. Is he the Great Master? Just think about it. Sun Chenyan felt short of breath. Xiaochen's master is not only strong, but also really kind to his apprentices. He brought so many things over here. In her heart, she sighed extremely. As for the kind of joke the old man once made, she only thought about it occasionally at night and sighed. And this time, Zan Yiming, who was sitting opposite, seemed to have finally remembered. The whole person jumped up like a spring uncoiled, staring at the young man in front of him with wide eyes, and said in a trembling voice, as this little friend Lu Chen a new member of the Tyrant Club. Just in the morning, in the entire Jiangnan war zone, all forces with certain strength have received a piece of information. There is another person named Lu Chen in the Ba Tian Club. And Lu Chen's master is still the crazy woman in Wenxin Pavilion. All of a sudden, all the major forces unanimously raised Lu Chen's level to the highest level, making him an existence that must not be messed with. He also repeatedly warned future generations. No matter where you are, if you see a person named Lu Chen, run away quickly. If you offend someone, you should kowtow and admit your mistake, or find a way to get forgiveness, otherwise you will not be allowed to enter. The young man in front of me. Could it be that Lu Chen? Zan Yiming was frightened and felt cold all over. In his mind, the gifts that Sun Qi just shouted out unconsciously appeared. Perhaps the only one who can give such a generous gift that would shock even the master is the new member of the Tyrant Club, right? Looking at the expressionless young man in front of him, Zan Yiming, who was standing, bent unconsciously. With the silent silence, the bending became wider and wider. Yes, it's me. After Lu Chen finished speaking calmly, he picked up a fallen apple on the ground and said, what a wonderful fruit. Just like a human head, it won't look good if it falls to the ground. Hear this, Zan Yiming's whole body was shaking. In a cruel move, he directly raised his hands and slapped himself in the face like crazy. Lu Chen didn't say anything, so he just kept slapping him. As the master of the main base, he deeply knows how terrifying the crazy criticism from the Batian society is. That's no exaggeration, as long as Ba Tian is willing. The mining association he belongs to can disappear into thin air. And the person who caused this consequence will suffer the revenge of many original stakeholders. Whether the whole family can save their lives is a question. Destroying someone's wealth is like killing one's parents. Crack, 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 quote dot 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 quote. The loud slaps continued to echo in the living room and then spread to the lawn outside. The hundreds of people present were all stunned. Watching Zan Yiming whip himself. That's the master. Grand master. Sun Junyu swallowed, his whole body trembling. I don't know if I'm excited or nervous. 
Until this moment. Only then could he clearly feel how powerful Lu Chen was at this time. One sentence. You can overwhelm a master. Let the other party humiliate themselves in public and in public. What kind of force this tyrant society is, Mr. Sun Jun you cannot even imagine. It took three full minutes. Lu Chen finally spoke again. I heard that the Jiangnan Theater Mining Association has four vice presidents. Zan Yiming stopped, nodded and said, yes, four. I think this number is unlucky. Five is good. What does Grandmaster Zan think? Yes, four is indeed unlucky, it should have been changed long ago. Zan Yiming followed up and said, I think it would be great to let Sun Junyu of the Sun family take the extra vice president position. He is well deserved and deserves the title. Yes, you go and arrange it. Tomorrow, I want to see the result. Zan Yiming was as if he had been pardoned. After paying respectful respects, he hurriedly retreated. Seeing that there was still dead silence inside and outside the villa. Lu Chen bit an apple and smiled softly, why are you all looking at me? Keep playing music and dancing. For a moment, everyone seemed to have been turned off. Restored to the original appearance again. Chatting, talking about business, talking about business, talking about martial arts. But everyone was talking about themselves, not listening to others at all, and while talking, their eyes occasionally stole a glance at Lu Chen in the living room. Xiao Chen, you really scared me to death. Old man Sun Junyu, waking up from a dream, pounded his chest to relieve his breath, and said with a wry smile, I counted, we haven't seen each other for five or six days at most, how come you seem to have changed? After tonight, the Sun family has not only established a firm foothold in the main base of the war zone, and the foundation and strength are also going to surge. Seemingly remembering something, he took out the key from the storage bracelet. Then he said, the latest batch of black gold magnets has also arrived at the main base. This is the key, you can go anytime. As for the quantity, it is about the same as the previous batch. Lu Chen bit the apple, his eyes suddenly lit up. Old man son's speed is good. He is really reliable. I will go there tomorrow to devour them all, and I will enter the Tianjiao camp the day after tomorrow. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.